friends, it's me, Dave Landau. After a long night on stage, I like to kick back with a captain's hat and a fine cigar and watch the Dennis and Andy show. These guys are huge nerds, but they're the kind that you actually want to hang out with. Enjoy them. I do. What is up, everybody? It is the Dennis and Andy Show, 3 p.m. on this wonderful Wednesday afternoon. We are here. Yes, everybody in the chat. Prater 7, first one in the house. Willy Wonka Nobi, uh, Couchin' and Slouchin', C. Bizzle, Omni, uh, Mr. O'Hare. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that. Uh, who, me? I'm Miss Ninja, Marcus Caligrew. Uh, NPC Oasis, what is up? That was horrific. He can hear you. Dennis can literally hear, well, he can hear me reading it. And he, believe it or not, he does know how to read. You literally just heard his feelings, uh, NPC Oasis. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm just devastated. You should be. Actually, guys, you all know I'm friends with Andy. I can take just about anything, so we're good. He can take about anything. Those aren't pillows. Um, oh, man. Omni says, Andy and Dennis on Cecil's channel last night were funny as F. Well, thank you so much. I love hanging out with Cecil. Cecil's awesome. We, we don't get to hang out with him uh, as much. I'm really sad I'm going to miss you guys up in uh, Garden State. But no, Cecil, Cecil's a blast. I know the plans that you have. And I can say that they're kind of worthless. 
Susie can take the trip by herself. You have fun with the guys and everything will be right in the world. Wow. What? Wow. What? Yeah, I think, think, wow. So, yeah, we are taking a trip. That is why I literally, Heroes ends, and I literally hop on a plane and head out west for a, a couple of weeks. I've been going through and hitting all the state capitals, and I've got uh, two left. And uh, so we're taking a big trip, and I'm going to hit the last one before we hit to Hawaii. Hawaii will be the last one. He's going to San Francisco. Which is not a capital, but that is one of our stops. Because if we're going to go out to uh, Sacramento, we might as well hit that Golden Gate Bridge and tiptoe through all the feces on the uh, sidewalk. Tiptoe through the poop lips. All right, guys. Well, we are uh, going to have a fun show. Uh, our good buddy Bart Sears is back. And uh, we thought we'd give a little hand at a at an art auction just to see see how it goes first time on this channel doing it uh you know i guess he i guess we can bring him in with the little... look at that the crowd loves you big guy they all applauded you didn't know we were in front of a live studio audience did you i i had to sit through that like it felt like two hour opening and uh <laughs> i I was so close to just pressing Leaf Studio and getting the hell out. What the heck is that all about? This is the highlight of your day. I, I mean, if you're going to wear that costume the opening, you should wear it during the show. Uh, you know, Halloween is around the corner, in a way. It's this year, so, you know, we're closer to it than further from it, I guess. So, you know, maybe. Maybe. You never well, know. you guys. Oh, you know it. Um, what, what? I'm just looking at the stupid chat as well. Uh, we're going to be in Hawaii next month, Dennis. Yeah, Dennis is going out west. And, and later in the year, he's doing Hawaii. There's probably some other bullshit vacation in there. You know, it's not a regular year for Dennis if he doesn't have at least three vacations. So, And, and I think most of you in the chat who watch the show understand why I need so many vacations. You know. There's, you can only take so much of Andy before you just got to get away. So I can either hop on a plane and fly away or jump off the bridge and just end it all. Eh, I choose to fly away. How's can you it? vote on that? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can. <laughs> well, somebody's got to stay behind and, you know, produce the actual book that you guys are backing for us. So that's me. <laughs> You know, you always try to make me feel guilty, and it doesn't work, does it? No, no, you have no soul. No, I have no sympathy. I have no feelings whatsoever. I am a robot, much like the robots in uh, in Fallout, which I did finish. All of you guys, I did finish Fallout. You guys recommended the, to watch the show. I'm gonna say it was a great ending. I I, I can't wait for the next season. Was it? Yeah, was a blast. I was surprised. I thought it would. You know, really bite, but it was. Uh, oh, you watched it too? Oh yeah, yeah. You're done with it as well? Yeah. yeah. I gotta watch it because this is. I so I don't know anything about the game, which a few people told me that's actually a good thing. So I'm like, okay, so I'll watch it. Yeah, but you don't know much about anything, so it doesn't really matter. You might as well just watch it. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> much. But I know Sorry, why I Bart, Bart you. <laughs> No, it really was a great show. And I wasn't going to watch it. Um, but literally uh, in the chat, they were like, oh, you're watching Halo and you're watching Shogun and you're watching all these great shows. A and Avatar, how are you not watching Fallout? And I was like, I, I just wasn't going to. They're like, no, it's really good. So see, it's worth doing. What's better, Halo or Fallout? Fallout. Fallout. Oh, you've watched Halo 2? I started watching it, but I couldn't continue. Oh, well, then I'm not going to waste my time with it. I'll just say And this is what happens. At some point, up on there's everything. nothing else on, I will finish Halo. But so far, there's always been something else on. So, Oh, I haven't even started it, so I'm not giving up on anything. 
because I haven't started it. Yeah, but you don't even try anything. You're just like, no. If Mark no. says Halo's trash and you say it's he good, didn't say I'll it's just trash. watch it. It was okay. First season was fine once you got into it, and it was good. Second season started out kind of wonky, but it's actually gotten really decent. But again, I didn't play Halo either, so I wasn't as invested. I see. No, I mean, Mark, do you have a dishwasher in your house? It just wasn't compelling to me. Hey, do you have a do you have a dishwasher in your house, like a regular, you know, electric, you know, put the dishes in, press the buttons? Oh, don't you don't have like a little doctor's office kitchen still. We haven't, oh. really, you know. Really but you've had a house with a dishwasher. Hell yeah. And when you put the silverware in, let's say it's a knife. Do you put it in handle down? Point down. Or pointy part down. Point down. Pointy part down? Yeah. Pointy part down. Face what smoke. Bart, you Wait. are the best. No, no, no. What about, about white? What up? about forks? Forks put point up. Oh, 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 suddenly that proves a point? You, 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 so every stream he's been bringing this up like it's this great trap. Let me get this super chat before you whine. Uh, KCC for 20 bucks. Thank you so much. So great to see you, Bart. I had the chance to tour your studio on a snowy night in Syracuse Ooh. when I was in college many years ago. It was oh, such cool. A, you were very gracious, and I'm still a big fan. Thanks, Casey. Huh. That's very cool. Was that Casey, uh, where was it located? Yeah. Because I'm trying to think. Yeah. The only time, because we had that studio with, with Ominous Press, and then after that, we moved. We still shared a studio doing EXO. Yeah. But then when we left that, I went to my house, and I think you went to yours, and then yeah. you never had a studio again up there, I don't think. No, so it had to be either the one on uh, South Bay Road in North Syracuse or the one – by the uh, baseball stadium down, you know, sort of towards the start of Syracuse there. My yeah. Course. Yeah, curious. So anyhow, the only reason I asked is because Bozo over here uh, was in his kitchen. This was a while ago, but it's a hilarious story. Is it? And he slipped on some water and he fell and he put his hand down and a fork went through his hand. Uh. Nope. Not, not, not even a right story. It was that, close enough. No, not, not close at all. Oh, um, wait, hold on. Violator. Violator. That was Ominous Press. Yes, that was uh, the South Bay Road Studio. Yep. Very cool. Our desks were facing each other. So go ahead. Tell the story how you can't walk. Ah, all points are always down. So glorified just saying, you are absolutely right. So I was loading the dishwasher, right? And, you know, there were knives up forks up and you know got the glasses in on there you had one of the pans water had spilt onto the floor and stuff so anyway did you ever step on a slippery surface you know yeah. like 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 ice you know or water and you just slip well i wound up slipping my feet went out this way and i literally went right on top of the dishwasher is right where i fell with the forks and everything standing up I stood up and sticking out of me were indeed forks and other utensils. Forks. So, points up. You know, yeah, I, I wound up having to pull them out. There's kind of blood everywhere and stuff like that. And uh, after that, and, and the dishwasher bent down. So I, I had to go fix that because, you know, it wouldn't quite hold water. Because, you know, when I fall in a dishwasher door that's open, it goes all the way to the floor. Needless to say, um, uh, we put all uh, pointies uh, down now uh, in the utensils and, and washing it. And they wash just absolutely fine. Yep. See? Safety. This is a PSA announcement for all of you watching. Now, Bart, you're, a, you're an older fellow. We're, we won't say how old you are, but you're older than us. Yeah. In your life, since you can remember, have you ever fell on top of your dishwasher and had pointy things sticking out of you when you stood up? Uh, no. <laughs> Funny thing. What do you mean? You had to think about it. <laughs> no. Funny thing. My mom just fell on her dishwasher. She slipped what? and fell on her dishwasher and broke the door. Mm. Such a. But she wasn't hurt at all. So you know, oh, I guess we know who's right. tougher. I mean, I've fallen on my dishwasher before, but then Helen just pushes me off. 
This is why she doesn't watch the show. <laughs> exactly. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Not yeah. to get dark, but about 20 years ago, close to us, a child put the, near a dishwasher and a knife pointing up went into their chest. That made me start putting blades down. Exactly. Exactly. All it takes is one. It could be you. It could be somebody close to you or a story of somebody that you know this happens before you realize safety first. So I'm just saying he mocks me for, for having this happen. But hey. I know people that have fallen off the ladder. I've never fallen off the ladder. You, that doesn't mean I'm not safe when I go climb a ladder. You, you, your argument is terrible. The guy has a knack of pointy things sticking into him for various things. In a garage in Wisconsin, <laughs> he's in the garage. He's walking. It's dark or some shit. Whatever it is. Oh, my God. Once again, an he awful slips, story, Taylor. He slips. He puts his hand in front of him. To brace against the wall, and a nail is sticking out, and the nail the nail goes boop. Yep, right through the hand. He he is. Let's see the other. Oh, he's in his backyard, trimming some bushes, and one of these trees has these pointy needle type things. This was like a year and a half ago. The devil tree. The devil tree. You know, some made up name because the tree hurt him, so now it's the devil tree. He slips. The needle of the devil tree goes right into his palm. I'm just saying 50 some years on this earth. Okay. okay. I'm older than him. See, I fessed up. Wow. It's about time. Never had these incidents three times in this guy's life. I, I'm just saying you wear it, a bubble wrap. It, this, the, the devil tree. And I don't remember. There's a very specific name. Even the doctor was like, wow. And it got infected on the inside. I've I've actually have on rose gloves, you know, for doing roses so the thorns don't go in. This goes right through it like butter. Um, you can have uh, the big uh, boot, you know, rubber boots. It'll just like a porcupine needle. It'll go through. If you've ever driven over a porcupine and gotten a flat tire, it doesn't just poke a hole. It shreds your whole tire. That's kind of what these are. I wouldn't know. I try to avoid animals in the road. Oh, I I get points. So I'm just saying. All right, so like the stream said, we're gonna we're gonna give this whole art auction thing a whirl. Uh, we got a lot of people in here, so uh, we can we can try this now, guys. If you've never watched an art auction on uh, Ethan's channel, when we do it, same type of things. Art will hold up a piece of art. Uh, you have to say the amount, and you have to type confirm after it, um, and then you know we'll just let it go, do a countdown. I got his PayPal that I'll pop in the chat. You pay for it. He mails it. Oh, it's, everyone's happy. So this will either be a complete flop, which if it is, it's Dennis's fault, or it'll be a raging success, and I'll take all the credit. So, so it's just like any other show. All right, guys. All right. Welcome to Wednesday. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so Bart, it's up to you. And Bart, and I told Bart previously, if he wants to have an opening bid, he's it's we can do whatever we want. It's our world, and we're just here. You're just here, whatever. So go ahead. All right. Now, what do you got? Andy asked for Batman, so I did a couple of few Batmans. Can you guys see that? All right. What size is that? Well, how about full screen? Oh yeah, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna full screen. We'll, you. we'll just full screen you. That'll help. Yeah, hold on. There. Uh, I'm sorry, what size is that? Eight and a half by 11. Eight and a half by 11. Beautiful Batman. Look at that. That is what you call rip shit pissed off Batman. Simon Bisley, eat your heart out. Uh, Simon, if you're watching, love your stuff. Um, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> so I laugh if he comes. So there you go. Uh, we'll just shoot the shit and talk. Like I said, if this goes down in flames, Dennis, I told you we're not a big enough channel to do an art auction. Once again, if it works, splendid. Uh, eight and a half by 11. You're, your arms want to get tired, but you have to honestly keep it up. That's what we do the whole time. All right. So uh, behind it, you can make faces and stuff. But yeah, unfortunately, oh, you've, got, you've got to keep it up there. Uh, people, don't be scared. Pop in a number. Uh, Dennis, Dennis, put a number in under your fake name. I don't want Bart to feel bad. Okay, Andy Smith. No, that's my name. 
SDA says, Bart Sears, it is. And you can buy some artwork. So uh, there you go. If not, he'll just put these up on his website and they'll go that way. So yeah. I never fear because he, he sends me 25. Oh, 25 bucks, guys. Look at that. Start and bid 25 bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna try and help Bart out. Oh, that's not gonna work well. Wow, 100 confirmed. Oh, damn it! I don't see it yet. Who was I it? Thought, where'd it go? Yeah, because when I see it, I'll pop it up. Are you sure you saw 100? Oh wait, I got it. Yeah, 100 confirmed. I got it. Oh, Smoky Concat. Let's Smoky. get the party started. Love Smokey. All right, He's guys. A great guy. Hundred bucks confirmed. Uh, let's like go by ten dollar um, increments. Image. Uh, and Smokey is a really nice guy. Well, Bart, you met him. That's right. I yeah. totally forgot about that. In yeah. Not being... a bit. Is your arm getting tired? No, I just got to tweak it. Oh my God! Look at that. He's so he's so <laughs> messy. With it. This is the perfectionism. There is that. Uh, yeah, no, I got it. I see it. I am, yeah, I am watching StreamYard, and there is always a little bit of a delay. So, but he tweaked it. He's got the long, nice, pointy ears. So, what did you just do? I don't know what you did. Well, right, well, we're you gonna, I'm trying something here. Oh, my God. Whatever you're trying just takes forever. Well, you have to edit everything. Oh, my God. My God. So while we're doing this, while it's up there, uh, what are we saying here? Uh, Shogun. So everybody watching Shogun, oh, look what you did. Oh, nice. All right, Bart, you can put your arm down. Thank you, you Dennis. Well, we're going to try. We'll see what it does. Look at that. We got a logical wizard. Too. There it is. Oh, boy. See, you mock me once again, and the technical genius behind this show saves Bart tired biceps. Look at that. You are welcome. We did. We saved, we saved the old guy. So now we can actually have a conversation. So, so you are watching Shogun? Yeah. Shogun's great. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, the only complaint is I like to hear my shows and not have to read the whole freaking hour worth of TV. Duh. Good Lord. They you, could have easily started off in Japanese and then just switched over, done a little asterisk. Hey, they're actually talking Japanese. We all would have got it. Have some I, cheese. I love with it because so much of it is about the, the translation. And That's they right. changed the translation. So it's great to see the two yeah, sides that's and true. Is translating how they kind of alter what's being said. It, I, I find it fascinating. No, I get it. I just can't read funny books at the same time because I have to constantly be looking at the screen. And this is how he watches shows. He doesn't actually watch the shows. He kind of half-assed listens to shows and then occasionally looks up and goes, oh, so I'll be like, Andy, did you see that? No, of course not, because you don't actually watch the shows. That's not true. That is so not true. I've actually seen that in action. Shut up. Uh, what was... Uh, Okay, so we we all like Shogun. That's good. I do love the main actor. I haven't seen him in anything before, or maybe I have, but he had makeup on. And I didn't recognize him, but yeah, I like the fact that the dude, you know, the 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 white dude playing the Shogun dude is uh, somebody that I don't recognize, so I can buy into it more. Because uh, you know, the main actors playing the Japanese people, I recognize them. You know. Yeah, he's in a lot. He's one of my favorite actors. Yeah. I mean, we saw him in Bullet Train. I mean, he was fantastic. He's great in everything he does. Yeah, that's a good point. Their English probably isn't that good if they even speak it. And uh, yes, Mariko, my favorite. Fantastic. Uh, somebody's going episode four. Nice. All right. Well, you know, guys, this has been up there. Dennis is going to do the 10 second countdown. Uh, so for any of you that are joining right now, <laughs> you, it's at a hundred bucks, hundred dollars. If you want to uh, go 125 and just say confirmed. If not, we're going to call this one done. 
So I'll do the cool countdown. I'll do like T minus 10. No, oh, you got to you gotta type 10 in the thing. Oh. That's how we do it. Oh. So people see it. Well, here, I'll do this then. Do, 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 do. Yeah, can I start a tab? I mean, you can. <laughs> <laughs> It'll save on shipping. Shipping's 12 bucks. Yeah, shipping is 12 bucks on top. So for yep. one or and, then, and then the winner, we will... Um, we will put up and you just uh, you will just PayPal uh, Bart and then yeah. he will ship it directly to you. That's right. That's right. And for fifteen dollars extra, Andy will hand deliver it. No, uh, Bart would have a lipstick kiss on the outside envelope. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it might not be his. I'm just saying. All right. Let's see. You're going to do nine sometime this year. Oh, is that what you want me to do? You just had me talking. That's how you do it. Nine. Wow. Dennis would never Eight. be a good auctioneer. Well, you give it a little bit of time. Well, well those aren't seconds then. That is exactly what I asked you before. Well, I'm not looking for like wow. a rotation around the sun. Between oh, the oh, you know, oh, I guess it's been about 12.73 seconds. So I'll do that. There. Uh, let's see. Come on, fellas. I'm gonna walk with this Batman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dan Lawless is in the chat. Dan, uh, give me a Y or an N. Do you want me to send you the link? I don't think you and Bart have ever met, and but you've worked together on the game module. You have. Matter of fact, Bart. I've, I'm assuming you've seen the full color yeah, version uh, now, uh, right? Oh yeah. The second one came out great. I mean, the first one did too, but. Yeah. And he just sent it last week. It looked awesome. It did. It turned out great. You guys are an awesome team. All right, let's see. Two. Oh, no, hold off on one a little bit. You oh. got to give him that little bit. Oh, oh. It's going to go. Oh, in case there's an eBay sniper in here. Right, in case there's a sniper. American we're, sniper. We're going to get down Play to me one. Now. All right, where's Lawless? Let's see if he wants to. Hop on here, make this even more fun. Did you do one? Because you can. I did. One. That's it. Smoky Concat gets it. Da -da -da -da. Wait, wait, wait. Watch what I did. Soul, oh, bang. That's a weak soul, though. It's all lowercase. That's like soul. Oh, my God. If I, if I, uh, if it was all uppercase, it would then be soul. Then, no, then you would complain because it's uppercase because you hate uppercase. You know, you're like this Kobe Ashimaru or no win scenario. I'm sorry that he's so his professionalism is lacking. Uh, Smoky Concat, I would have been an uh, all cap sold myself, but yeah, I think that would have helped. Uh, <laughs> Smoky Concat, that's Bart. That's your PayPal, right? I couldn't copy and paste that. Type it. Do you see that in the comments? What am I looking? Uh, yes, that's it. Okay, so I just put Bart's PayPal in the comments. Shoot him over 112 or wait because I think there's another Batman coming down the pipe. Or I could be wrong. We'll see. All right. So mm. are we doing another piece or you got something? I, I think it should be tag team. Oh, my God. I would be so embarrassed just because $15, Dennis, I'm buying a beer tonight for myself. I don't I got the right no, no, that means you'd be buying me a beer tonight. I don't do cool characters. That's the problem. Well, I think they're cool, but they're like B list. So people are like, oh, oh, somebody's asking if there's any Aquaman. Oh, it's Chris. <laughs> it's Chris. <laughs> it's Chris. Ah, Chris. You know, it never gets old. It doesn't. I have a, <laughs> I have a submariner. Boy, this is going to suck. I'm going to be sitting here going. Do, 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 do. Okay, not sold. Next, which is fine, because I just take this stuff to conventions. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, I can actually share the screen. Hold on. I got to find it. I just realized I'm not holding this thing up. Oh, you expected Bart to hold it up He's for the entire show, but you are going to go find a digital copy and yeah, take 12 normal. Yeah, He's closer to his freaking camera than I am. Wow. Wow. Uh, an exo page? Oh, I got no pages. So, uh, Dan, I sent you the link if you want to come on, big guy. Yeah, Dan. Yeah, Dan. 
And, you know, if you've got any piece you want to sell, we could. I mean, if we're doing an art auction, we might as well just have some fun. Just saying. Oh, you know what I got? Actually, wait. I can still show it on screen. I just realized that. Because I asked Dan if he wanted it. And he's like, nah, man, go ahead and sell it. So, you know what? I will. That's a tease. Yeah, Dan. All right. Hold on. I can't even read that damn thing from back here. Let's see. Because people are still starting to roll in. I know. Which means after mine, Barbara hey, will get another, hey, another shot. All right, let's see. Where is that thing? Do, 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 do. And then Zade Comics is in the house. He came to join the art auction. That's right. Phil wants to buy a piece of Bart's art. We should probably just let him go again while I find this. Oh, my God. Uh, where thank is you, it? Andy, but I cannot come in at the moment. It's okay. We know you're working on your Viking helmet trying to get it fixed. But, uh, you know, for next time. Dan, it's okay if you're on the shitter. Nobody cares. Just don't aim the camera down. God bless America. What? Oh, like you haven't streamed from there before. Haven't we all? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> just just flat out. You, no, you, you sick bastard. <laughs> yeah, that shouldn't even be a thought or a comment. <laughs> hey, hey Dennis, why don't you pull up the screen? That's got to be one of the funniest there. That seriously cracks me up. No. I think somebody's going to clip that out of the video. No, we haven't. All right, hold on. I'm pulling up this piece. It's Do you have a fun. picture of Aquaman slipping and impaling his hand on his trident? That would be amazing. That is a great one. That would be and a serious uh, concern See, for look people. What, look what Dan said. He said, <laughs> See? it off. See? All right, here. Uh, let me share the screen. I'll also get their original so I can hold up their original. You can see it, but let me do this. Andy, can I trade my art review with you to Bart? <laughs> no. Wow. Oh, boy. Wow. What? Wow. Now I can't wait to do the art review. Nobody said it had to be nice. Let's do that. There. Uh, Captain America, drawn by Dan Lawless. I printed it out in blue and inked it. Uh, cool. And on, what is this, 9 by 12? Yep, 9 by 12. See, there is the original right there. Well, if you love it, you could own it right there. Uh, Do you have an opening uh, price, Andy? No, I don't. $5 confirmed. Yeah, baby. That makes Dan and I feel awesome. <laughs> That's the shit right there. All right, guys. Smokey confirmed. Five bucks. See, look at that. Right there. Printed out. Nine by 12. Original. Yeah, hold that up. Ass inks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you guys might think I'm kidding. I will sell this for five bucks because that's the kind of guy I am. Uh, I think Smokey actually put the decimal two places to the left too far. That decimal should be to the right two places. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Will's asking, Bart, when are we going to get volume three of How to Draw? Hopefully pretty soon. Oh, breaking news. Do, 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 Working do, on do, some do, edits. Do. Oh, nice. Look at that. I found out something new today, too. So there you go. So, yeah. So uh, let's see. I can even do this with this. Thanks, Will. Oh, look at that. Uh, didn't want me to feel left out. I appreciate that. Out of his own auction. I know. Uh, JC says reprints of volume one and two as well. Working on that too. There oh, you go. look at that. More breaking news. Pencils by Dan Lawless. Inks by me. Get your Captain America holding a sword here. Get it holding a sword. Come on now. We can do this. How come Cap has a sword? Why not is the better question, Chris. You know, the you know, that did come up. Boy, I wish Dan was in here because I remember Dan being asked that. That's right. I know. All right, guys, we've got five bucks. We've got 25 Cap. bucks. That's the actual opening. Sorry, Smokey Con Cat. I'm not selling this for five bucks. 
Wow. That's so the way it goes. It's 25 or nothing. 25. I'd sell it for five if I actually inked it in 15 minutes, but it took a little bit longer than that. Not that much, but no. Uh, and it is all brush, except for that shield. That shield, I rolled out, and I rolled out the blade. Other than that, it's 100% brush. All gorgeous brushwork. Come and get it, boys. We know what that noise is. Marcus, there you go. Move the goalpost. Come on now. Uh, go back, core draft the awakening. That's right. You don't want to buy this. That's fine. Spend that 25 bucks on core draft the awakening. Pick up whichever cover you would like. Uh, there's multiple to choose from. And do that instead. Look at Dan putting the work in, drawing those scales. Cap is cap at 25. You just said it. You know, well, I'm you, not buying it myself. Oh my it's god, it's not at 25. I, Somebody has to oh, type in 25. Confirm. Oh my god, you, dude, you I'm, are the worst. No, somebody has to type in 25. Confirm. Well, you said five, and then you told them no, it's at 25. So, well, I no, Smokey said five confirmed, and I'm like, that's nice, I appreciate it, but it's got to be at least 20. So, yeah, he's right, you move the goalpost. So, well, who's I'm on making, first, I'm not what's making... on second, I don't know is on third, and this is Andy's auction. Oh, my God. You don't even know how to play baseball, so just the fact that you brought that reference up. Bart, what do you think about the Bucks in the upcoming year with Baker Mayfield as your starting guy? I feel excitement. <laughs> yeah. I'm, uh, I'm hopeful, but uh, I think I think so. the Falcons are going to take the the NFC South. Do you really? Yeah. Who's their quarterback now? They just got uh, Kirk Cousins. Oh From yeah, Minnesota. Right. I forgot. Minnesota. So they'll make the playoffs and won't do anything, but they'll 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 roll through the NFC South. I think. I don't know. Yeah, Baker's got some moxie, so I have hope. Why did they get rid of Kirk Cousins? Because he can't win playoff games, I guess. Oh. Yep. Yep. And they paid him a lot of money. Do I ever do a live draw stream? I haven't done one in a while because I don't – it's it's hard for me to, to do a draw stream and talk at the same time. Uh, most people will probably be like, that's fine. Just aim the camera down and shut your pie hole, Smith, and draw. Um, but I have. Just not in a while. Will says, I want a book of Bart sketches and roughs. I love prelims. Please, Bart, with an exclamation point. Next art of Bart Sears' book. There you awesome. go. I've got tons of them, but check out uh, the website. There's a bunch on that. BartSearsArt.com. Oh, look at that. So I, just got, uh, I just got more... Yesterday, I picked up more DPH ones and twos, and they'll be on the website soon. So, Check all right. So, if you hear that, drawing powerful, drawing powerful heroes, volume one and twos, will be going up on Bart's website soon. So, follow him on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and stuff, so you know when he puts that up. He does have a bunch of roughs. I actually think a book of uh, a forty-eight to sixty-four page sketchbook of your roughs. Uh, would be an uh, awesome addition uh, for uh, Drawing Power for Heroes 3 as an add-on. Just saying. It's possible. All right, 25 confirmed from Lake Kick for uh, Captain America. So there you go. Go Lake Kick. Bart, you are an awesome teacher, says Ultra Cartoon Artist. Well, thank you, Ultra Cartoon Artist. Very kind. Oh, well, Dr. Mask. He's right. Well, you can get better at talking and drawing by practicing. That's true. Practice does make perfect. And you know, I know there's a there's a book that really helps you ink. Somebody just put it out. I think it was called Nice and Tight. That's right. Nice and Tight, the comic book pencil art of Andy Smith. That's me. It's right here. Guys, all the shipping is done. I've got the remaining packages we're taking to the post office this afternoon. And uh, these will be in your hands very soon. Uh, drawing power was very, oh, that's old. I remember that one. 
Let's see some of that Pentarse house art, Bart Sears. That's <laughs> not safe for work. Work. <laughs> it's true. We like to keep our channel. Um, yeah, but I appreciate right. that. It was fun doing it. It was. You know Penthouse is doing that stuff again, right? They just started up. Idea. Two issues are out. Who's running it? It's a good question. I don't know. I'll tell you in a minute. Then it's fought them both because he's a pervert. He'll tell you. Uh, Leg Kick says, hello, met, hello, Bart. Met you at Emerald City in 2016. There hey, you Leg go. Kick. Wow, that's a while back. Yeah. Um, what the hell was I going to say about the nice and tight? Oh, yeah, Bart, yours is on its way. I mailed you up one. So. Oh, cool. I think I saw like the uh, notification. You know, you'll recognize the packaging, too, because I took the same thing you sent the art down to me in and reused nice. it. So you can have your big envelope back. Awesome. All right, guys, 25. 25 confirmed. I'll do a countdown while Dennis is looking at that. Yeah, I'll, yeah go ahead. Just no, go, to, go to the Indicia, see who the publisher is. Yeah, I know. Uh, copyright is Behemoth Entertainment LLC. Wow. What's the Who's website? the editor? Nope. Editor. The Penthouse uh, wordmark key logos are trademarks of Penthouse World. Um, right there. Who are you looking for? Editor. Editor is Adriana Yoakum. Hmm. Nine. 25 bucks for this fantastic. Uh, Captain America, drawn by Dan Lawless. I did print it out on Bristol in blue and inked it. Uh, but hey, talk to Dan. He's got the pencils. He could sell you that. And you have them both. I met Bart and Andy at Megacon in Orlando back in the 90s. Wow. That was a while ago. Uh, you could pick your copy up, but it's already in the mail. So too bad. Oh. I know. He could. He lives in Charlotte. Actually, there's another guy in Charlotte, too. I'm not going to say who it is because I don't know the person that bought one as well. So. Oh, eight. Oh, boy. Here we go. That's right. We're getting down. Eight. 25 confirmed. Beautiful Captain America. Cleaning stuff out. It's called the, the Clean House Show. Do, do, do. So, Bart, what else are you watching? The chat loves to hear what, what, what we're watching on TV. They do, actually. No, I just uh, started Invincible Season 2. Oh, oh, I just finished it. That's very cool. Yeah, I just finished it. Season 3 is our season... Wait. I think Season 3 through 5, they're greenlit for. Wow. And I also read they're doing their... They're going to work on a live action for it. Oh, that's cool. Hell that yeah. Is. If they keep it, it, well, if they keep it as, well, kind of like the boys live action with the, yeah. with the violence and stuff. Yeah. That would yep. be real cool. Have you checked out X-Men 97? No, Dennis. He's not gay. Uh, I did watch the first episode. And that it was it. fun. You know, I wasn't crazy about a lot of the voice acting, but it was fun. Yeah, the voice actors have gotten but quite a bit older. They don't quite sound the same, do they? Yeah, I I will say I did not like Wolverine at all. The Said there was no voice actor. That was a, a thing back then. But um, you know the show. Itself, well, it's still itself itself better than the original animated Wolverine that was Australian. Oh yeah, that was that was awful. Uh, Bart, Will wants to know if you've ever drawn Superboy from the 90s. That's the leather jacket guy. No, I don't believe. I don't think so. Don't think so. Uh, neither do I. For you, that is. Interesting. I, I just, have, however. I did just see that Power Girl has a jacket now, and I drew her. Oh. oh. Is that yeah. all she's wearing is a jacket? <laughs> <laughs> no. You heard of Supergirl. Uh, Power Girl with the jacket and uh, big time breast reduction because that's a no-no these days. 
Oh, no. Are we still going to watch Reacher after Alan Richardson's controversial comments? I don't know. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I was going to say, I think a lot of people are, you know, no matter what. He's he's still the best Reacher we've ever seen. Sorry, Tom Cruise. Yeah. Yeah, did you watch Reacher season two? Yeah, Reacher's awesome. It love is. That. Love that dude, too. I really want to walk up to a car and kick it and see if I can get the airbag to deploy. <laughs> well, hey, there's one right in the driveway. It's Andy's. Yes. Well, I know how I can make that work. You stand at the edge of the driveway and I'll ram you. Yeah, that's not kicking it. You literally didn't listen to anything I said. I know. Uh, how much for shipping? Leg kick wants to know. Leg kick is so confident this thing's not going to go over 25. I understand. That's fine. The leg kick, I think you joined a little bit later. Shipping, uh, no, any shipping for mine's 10. I can get it out the door for 10. So that's fine. So never mind what I was going to say. I like nice round numbers. Uh, okay, let's see. All right. I'm typing one. I'm about to hit send. 25 the leg kick it is. Dun, dun, dun. Money to people. Booyah. Uh, I'll take 25 bucks for this. And uh, boy, I'm all done with the rip reverse. Oh, wait. 50 confirm. If I can give you an hour to get home. Joe Lowe. Oh, boy. And it doesn't matter because Art of Oh, so I'm confused. Oh, what are you going to do? Art of Roy, 30. 30 confirmed. Uh -oh. uh, it's up the leg kick. I I would I would be fine, Joe, for the 50 confirmed if leg kick uh is okay with that because technically he uh he got it, but it, it really is up. I'll leave it up to leg kick. So, so before I send my PayPal. We'll see what uh who I missed out. You didn't miss out yet. No, I got other stuff I'll put up. Uh, but if uh if leg kick's fine with letting it go because you came in uh 50, then uh we'll do that. Um it's cool. All right, leg kick, thank you. Don't worry, I'll put something else up. Uh all right, 50 is yours. Uh throw in another 10 for shipping. My PayPal is andyspinardiyahoo.com, and uh, there you go. So thank you very much. Let me stop sharing the screen. Oh, well, thank you. And uh, now it is Bart's turn. All right. I got another Batman. Ooh, another Batman. Ooh, let's see. Oh. Hold on, I got to make you bigger. What she Hold said. on. Hold on. He has problems making things bigger, so just give him a minute. More than that. Dude, that's cool. Shredded. Kicking ass and taking names. All right, Joe. I appreciate it. So we got this other Batman, eight and a half by 11. Bart Sears, Batman looking badass. Drop it like it's hot. Uh, started out at 25. 25 to start. That's right. Headless says, wow, it could be yours. Uh, Christopher Lord wants to know if there's any Conan. I have a Conan headshot. Oh, Whoa. Conan headshot. 25 is too low, Andy. Glad you got more. Oh, thank you, Light Kick. I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, working with Joe on that. It's very nice. Uh, so, so starting out twenty five. Let's do, oh, will excel twenty five confirmed. Boom, 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 and let's leave that up there. Oh, Smoky Concat fifty confirmed. So yeah, there we go. Then now it's an auction. Now it's an auction. Now it's heating up. Now we're going to get down to fisticuffs. Uh, Dennis is doing his screen cap thing. So Bart, give us a. Couple more seconds for your your arms give out. These tough old arms, they never give out. They don't give out. Yeah, I was gonna say they're drawing all day. They're made out of steel. All right, Bart. Last last movie you saw, theater or recent? 
So you can't say, oh, I just watched a movie from 20 years ago on TV. <laughs> um, Dune. Dune 2 in theater. Okay, you can put your arm down. We got it. I got you. Oh, you did, go, you did go see that, huh? Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. It was great. Loved it. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Yep. Now, did you like it as well as the first one, better than the first one, or not as well? Well, it kind of all felt like one movie to me, so. It was. You know, I kind of liked it, I guess, pretty much the same. You know, I'm real interested in the next one. You know, I love I love these two. You know, I watched, yeah. uh, did you guys ever watch the Dune TV show? The miniseries? No. No. Did you like it? I did like the miniseries. Yeah, not the not the first movie. I mean, that was fine as a movie. It wasn't Doom, but it was okay. I, I was going to say, it was enjoyable for what they tried to do. David Lynch was never happy with how it came out because they had too many fingers in the pot. Yeah. And, um, Which you know. Awesome. Did you guys see that in the theater when it came out? The original? Yeah. Theater? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I like Kyle McLaughlin still. Primer. Do you remember? The they what? You a, a printed primer so that you could understand the movie you were going to watch. It was awesome. I do not yeah. remember having that. No, it might only hmm. been the first week of that it was out or something. I don't know, but uh, that was crazy. Trying to I thought. Um, I thought Dune like. I was telling Dennis, I mean, because we do our movie reviews and I gave Dune a really good, you know, Dune 2, a really good review in the grading scale we do from 1 to 10. But at the same time, because I thought it was directed great. I mean, the acting was great, the visuals, everything. But I got to be honest, I was kind of bored. It's just not my, it, which is weird to say, but it really, it's just not my cup of tea. I just didn't care. Yeah, you know? Can't like everything. Yeah, but I mean, I thought vis I thought visually everything was just wow, you know. But so I mean, yeah. Will I go see the third one? Yes, but at the same time, it's just like—is it even supposed to come out next year? When the hell is it supposed to come out? What? Isn't there another one, or was that it? I can't even remember. No, the there, there, there's one based off the next book that they oh. have just greenlit. Oh, see, I don't care. Y you don't. I, I just, just uh, Yeah, I was just gonna say they. Uh, 81 Modus is asking, what's Andy and Bart's dream projects? No, oh, go ahead, Andy. Oh, uh, well, that's simple, guys. It's called Core Draft. Yeah, it is. Yeah, live it is. on Indiegogo right now. Uh, if you want to support it, support it, help me put food on the table. Look at me. I'm withering away. Go support Core Draft the Awakening. And, you know, actually, 81 Modus, I'm just, you know, I'm, self-publishing, doing my own thing. Um, I'm just having a great time doing that. I really do enjoy working on core draft. You know, if I didn't, I, I wouldn't be doing it. So, um, yeah, I'm just having a really good time doing that after 33 years in the business and working for, you know, all the mainstream stuff and now finally being able to do what I want and, you know, work with a, work with a good friend. That's actually you. See, I, I did pay. Oh, you. I thought you were talking about Bart. <laughs> oh my God, I never even thought about asking Bart. About that. Yeah. Well, that ship sailed, son of a bitch. Too late. Yep. So now it's your time to answer the question, because I just did. Are you thinking? Oh, am I answering? Um. <laughs> Yes, it is your turn to answer that question. Well, main comic stuff, I'd love to do a run on Detective. That would be a blast. But uh, other than that, I've got a lot of my own projects that I want to get going, but uh, have not done we, so yet. So. I would assume that means either Batman or Detective. It's the same thing, really, right? Yeah, it's just the name. Oh, okay. Detective Comics. Would you, uh, would you play Batman up? In the more of the detective aspect, then when yeah. it comes to solving cases and whatnot, yeah, use his brain and still kicking ass, though. Because look oh, at that yeah. Batman that is 50 bucks confirmed, guys. That is so low. Uh, 
Let's get this up. Come on, 75 bucks for this bad boy. I know we can do it. Eight and a half by 11. Bart Sears original. It's not like he gets around to sketches anymore. And let me tell you, at a convention, this will cost more than that. Yeah, it will. Oh, yeah. There you go. Any thoughts on the Brutes and Babes rebirth? Um, not as Brutes and Babes, no. I mean, if you mean drawing uh, uh, powerful heroes, which is what Brutes and Babes kind of started as, then yes, but not as a not as a comic, as comic characters. There's nothing, uh, nothing in the works for them right now. Well, there you go. All right, it's at 50. We're doing the countdown because, you know, Do we got to move on. So, okay. Bing. I know it's a steal. That's why 81 Modus should come in at 75. I mean, come on, 81. I don't know anything about you. Do you have children? How attached are you? Have you thought about selling one of them? Maybe a straight up trade. <laughs> I don't think Bart wants another kid. Well, I, I wasn't going to put words in his mouth. I've got to, I'm, I'm full up on the kid. The kid. <laughs> All right. Full so up. trades are out. No trades. What about 81 Modus? Are you a contractor of any sort? And do you live in the Northeast? Because maybe a trade for some contracting work at the house. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, see, oh, see? see? Nine. Uh, Bart, what did you do on Invincible? Uh, Absolutely nothing. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think so. Just some sketch covers and different commissions. Hey, cut out. I saw the Omni-Man's rough that you put up, but I've never, I don't think I've seen an Invincible. Have you drawn an Invincible? I don't know. Because I like that Omni-Man that you, that, that rough. Was that ever yeah, finished, or was that just the rock? I'll go Say what? Forward with it. Oh. 81 actually has two of my pieces. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Nice. And tight. Dennis never gets old of hearing me saying that, so that's why I said No, it. I never get old. That's right. I stay You never get sick of hearing me saying it. Shut up. Eight. Man, what a steal. Art's going to go out and buy himself 25 bucks. That's at least four or five cases of Bud Light you can buy yourself. If you like Bud Light. I was going to say, mm. well, it's so discounted, you should be able to pick up 20 cases. You could actually walk in to buy, buy Bud Light with that 25 bucks and walk out with 50 and the Bud Light because they'll give you 25. You know, they, they were selling it for like $18.99 a case, and they had $15 rebate coupons on it. So in the end, you could have got a case of Bud Light for just $3.99. When I was at the Cuber School, there was a beer called Steg Light, and it was $4.99 a case. Wow. What's it called? Steg Light. I think it was S-T-E-G Light. Nope, Not that is one I can say I've never had. You are lucky. <laughs> that is not a good beer. Uh, you know, we were we were talking about it on, um, I think it was Cecil's show uh, last night, but we were talking about beer. And in college, you know, we were, you know, what, what college drank? Well, we used to do the house parties, you know, so we used to start off with our refined pallets of Miller Genuine Draft in the dorms. But then when we'd go out to the house parties, we always had, almost everybody had, they were uh, half barrels of Old Milwaukee. And that was the beer of choice. Milwaukee. What's that? Old Milwaukee, yep. Yeah. Oh. That's right. It, you, had, you bought your cup for 2 or $3, and it was an endless cup the rest of the night. You could just walk up. So, yeah, we, we got used to the taste of old Milwaukee for cheap college beer. And then we had our Coors Party Ball in the refrigerator in the dorms. Wow. Party balls are good times. They were good times. Old days. All right, we're getting down to two. 
50 bucks is a steal or 50 yeah 50 bucks is a steal two after this anybody anybody don't, don't snipe don't snipe come in right now or snipe i don't care what a steal it's a bargain a bargain i tell you Vaughn Coleman in the house. Vaughn is here. Welcome, hey, Vaughn. Vaughn. Long time no see. Young Vaughn. Good man. Good young man, that Vaughn. Launching his book. Launching his book this Friday. You're going to see him at Garden State Comic Fest in June. Vaughn, are you coming down to uh, Heroes? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Are you coming down to Heroes, Vaughn? Because uh, I'm 99% sure you were at Heroes last year. I think you went I'm there. I'm 100% and sure he was because I remember about people I care about. You dick. don't remember about anything. God, what a dick. He doesn't remember Vaughn being there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was smoking cigars with us out in the uh, out in the circle. He says, hell yeah, I'll be at Heroes. Yeah, we get to see the Vaughn Meister. That's right. All right, I'm hitting one. That's this it. it. So, 50 confirmed. Last chance to fight. It's going. Oh, my finger's hovering over the enter button. Oh my God, I want to hit it. Oh, one song for 50. Smoky Concat. Well, the nice thing is your shipping is still $12 for the two pieces. That's and right. And the total is now $162. Uh, let me know if I need to put in Bart's PayPal again or not. And I will. Remove. Okay. Uh, Wow, that last piece, I uh, that Dan Lawless piece I put up, boy, that thing sold for hotcakes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What do I want to put up? What do I want to put up? I'll see. Pity says, excited to see Vaughn in New Jersey. Everybody gets to see Vaughn. That's right. That's right. Let's see. Do, do, do. No. Do, do, do. Hey, Dennis, where's that all caps sold? Yeah. I've been sold all caps. Good Lord, Dennis. Oh, I'm flacking. I had to do the countdown. I don't know. You just took over control of the typing. So screw it. You do it. Well, somebody knows how. Knows what There it doing. is. Sold. Yeah. I tried to bold it, but it wouldn't bold. So I, that's all you get. I tried to do flashing. Ten. Flash. Sold. That is how a manly man writes sold. Right there. Right there. Uh... Derail is asking any Exo Manowar stuff. On my uh, website. I don't have pages, but I do have an Exo drawing. So sure, why not? Uh let me uh let me pull it up so I can share the screen before I show the original as well. And Bart said he's got some on his website. So make sure you go to Bart's website. That's hey, right. Chris is on there. This is on my website too. Conan for Conan. Oh, uh, is Crystal on? Do you know, well, do we know? well, Crystal. I know don't, he's work, yeah, he's but. he's got patience, so he only hops on in between patients. I wish you had patience. I don't. After being around you, I don't have patience anymore. I know, bastard. It's a good thing it's my laptop, or I just take it and chuck it right out the window. I wish you would. I mean, you complain about that laptop enough. I'm surprised you don't. Yeah, I call it Andy. It's a pain in the ass. Well, you should buy a new one. I don't know much. So, Bart, what's the next uh, convention you're going to? It's a good question. Let me it find is. Out. I think I know the answer, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll play a game. I'll see if I know know the answer or not. W well, you better whisper it to Dennis so we know. Yeah, you're because right. otherwise you're going to say, oh, yeah, that's what I thought, no matter Fine. what he says. Fine, don't answer yet, and I will. Give me one second to open this up. Uh, that's what she said. Ooh. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah, go yep. ahead. Motor City. Fuck, I was wrong. Totally wrong. Yeah. He said Washington State. I thought it was Washington State. No. You're supposed to know Rich, that. No. Rich is in the house. How much for a Dennis Turner original? Seriously, Rich, that stick figure I'll draw you, I'll do that at the next convention I see you at for free. <laughs> there you go. 
All right, this is the only XO. Only XO I have. 25 bucks to start. It's right here. It's on five and a half by eight and a half. I believe that's right. Yeah, five and a half by eight and a half paper. Uh, the scan. I mean, sure, I could. I could go full screen on that. I'll just do it for a second, real quick. Why not? See right there. Oh, XO. Uh, not the very first XO armor. I don't think. I can't remember. I just wanted to draw that one. So. So Maybe it's second. right there. Motor City is May seventeenth through the nineteenth. Oh. Cool. I think Billy's going to. I think Billy Tucci's going to Motor City. Yeah, I was gonna say. I know somebody just said they were they were trucking to Motor City. Nice. Oh, look at that. twenty-five confirmed. Nice. Thank you. Do we have awesome. Fitty? Do we have Fitty? Um, you know who I haven't seen in the chat in a long time? Really? Southern Cecil. Unless that's Southern Comic Geek. Yeah, I don't know if he changed his name. I don't either. So there you go. We got. Fitty confirmed, or 25 confirmed, sorry. But we want Fitty. 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 You can do 50. Let's get 50. NFL draft's coming up, and then it won't be long before we're back into fantasy football time. Oh, my God. Courtney's going to oh, repeat. Yeah. My daughter's going to repeat as a Super Bowl winner again next year. I already feel it. Yeah, I nope. think you're full of crap. You guys must feel like freaking chumps. My daughter beating both of you, especially you, because you're a godfather, Bart. Good Lord. Hey, I came close. Yeah, well, guess what? You didn't win it, and I was way hey, down. Hey, Bart. I didn't either. We yeah. we made the playoffs, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I just wanted to Didn't share. she beat so, me for the Super Bowl or something? I thought I was right up there. Yeah. One of these things just doesn't belong here. One of these things just isn't the same. Andy. Hey, all I know All is, the rest of us made the playoffs. Yeah, lots of teams made the playoffs, too, in uh, the actual NFL Football League. And uh, two of them got to actually play in the big game. And the rest got to sit home and watch, like yeah. you guys did, too. So oh, they, Wow. That still was the best ride home. Andy and I got to listen to the Cowboy Packer playoff game driving Ooh. home from the convention. It was seriously the greatest ride home. It was so quiet. I could have dropped a pin and heard it echo. <laughs> Didn't you just laugh the whole ride? On the carpet of the car, too, we could have heard it. I, I was very much a gentleman, and I... Internally, I had tears running down my face. I was laughing, but I didn't want to do it because Andy was threatening to just drive off the cliff and end it on the way That's home. Right. That's right. I could have taken us both out. <laughs> and then we wouldn't be here for the auction. That's right. Easy peasy. But I'll tell you, Bart, it was one of the greatest Football days of my oh, life, boy, short of the go. Super Bowls. Here we go. <laughs> here we go. Blah, blah, blah. Do we hear 50? Do we hear 50 Southern Comic Geek? 25 confirmed. And yes, I do remember old Milwaukee Amish Ninja. That was the best beer of choice for us poor college students. Oh, gross. Gross. Never. Because the first can of beer I stole and drank was in old Milwaukee. Stole. Love to hear that. All right. That's it's just a misdemeanor back then, so you're fine. Yeah, it was from somebody's dad, so. Ugh. Oh, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Will says, we don't talk about football. I'm from Buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, you know, I, I hear that. Usually from Buffalo fans or Chicago fans. Or Dallas fans. They're they're all kind of in the same boat. So yeah. Old Milwaukee tastes like the pine straw. I can't comment on that because I've never eaten pine straw. But I will take your word, Rich. <laughs> it's funny. So last night, Bart on uh the professionals, the show with uh yeah. you know Aaron Graham and 
uh, Billy and Dan Fraga, Art to Bear, we did, it was Billy's night to host. And uh, the topic, because whoever hosts picks the topic was um, show your, you know, find your first job, whether online or if you have a copy and, you know, save yeah. the pages and go through it page by page. So, you know, mine was just Justice League Quarterly and first printed job. Yeah. And, uh, and Graham's was the one that was the school assignment he did about the crazy fan. Yeah. And uh, he pointed out how you were in the background of one of the panels. So <laughs> I remember both of those jobs, yours and his. Yep. That was, uh, man, and what his was, dude, his was really good. Yeah. Aaron's was, Aaron's was, uh, I mean, obviously knowing us, all of us, when it was our turn to show it, we were all like, ugh. but I tell you what, Aaron's first job was in a, a for Blackthorn publishing in 1980. It was either 88 or 89, he said. And uh, it was Solomon Kane 3D in 3D. Dude, I mean, we couldn't find it online. To show images, so he actually had a copy of the book. He was just holding it up. Honestly, for his first job, it was really freaking nice. Hmm. You know, the whole and job that, took, or the whole story took place on the deck of a pirate ship. It looked like, or a ship from that time period. You know, uh, I mean, he referenced it well. There were some nice shots, nice lighting. <laughs> it was really nice. <laughs> So, that's cool. Yeah. Um, all right. Back to this. 25 confirmed. Do we have 35? Look at that. I know when Dennis said 50, he was jumping the gun. And I appreciate you saying that. But, you know, 35. Uh, doing a countdown. You see it? It's a 10. It's a and 10. And it's in capitals. <laughs> It's not in Roman numerals. That you is right. Did you that bold those on Roman the numerals? What's that? Can can he bold them? Uh, no, uh, no. no, I tried. No, oh, what a shame. How's the weather up there? Is it out of winter time yet? Yeah, pretty much. In the, I don't know, 50s, I guess, most days are oh. they're higher. We did have snow. Was it last week? We woke up with snow. It's weird. Very strange. Oh, forget that. No it was thank gone you. Today. Oh yeah, yeah. I believe it. So you haven't had to go out and mow your lawn yet? I got a kid. <laughs> okay, so I'll rephrase. Your kid hasn't had to go out and mow the lawn yet? Nope, not yet. Maybe okay. Next week. Maybe next week. Nice. We'll see how it goes. We do have a lot of yard work, though. What well, grade's he in now? Uh, he's graduating this. Uh, this That's year. what I thought. Yeah. And it, you said it's June. Yeah. He might. He'll wow. probably finish in May. Damn! I can't believe he graduates. Holy crap! We couldn't no, believe you graduated. So I mean, it's all the same. I know. I mean, it still just amazes me we're the same age and you graduated a year after. Just the fact your parents hold you back in kindergarten is ridiculous, but the you only can't thing, tie your shoes. The you only can't thing, tie your shoes. The only thing they held me back from was kicking your ass. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, another question. Uh, Drawing Power for Heroes, Volume 3, when somebody just joined the show? I don't know. Keep uh, watching my website and social media. I'm working on edits and stuff. I want it all done before I... Uh launch campaign so there you go you're working, working on it. it we're down hello to hello seven Omer glitch what you say i said hello omer glitch oh okay so what uh how, how tall is the boy now is he uh is he your height pretty close probably is he really? five ten five maybe i don't think five eleven but five ten plus probably that's a good height. That's a yeah. really good height. That's average. If I do say so myself, and I do, it's above average, just to let you know. Man. Wow. I was trying to reposition yourself. I see how this goes. Not at all. Just saying, average height for a guy's 5'8. Five, 5'9. Five, I was going to say, I don't think it's 5'8. You got Google right in front of you. 
I do. I mean, you're not typing in the countdown, so you could do something. I literally am. Are, are you not seeing any of the stuff going on the screen? I am. It's so, okay, those are Roman numerals. Those are actual real numbers, Andy. Okay. Oh, man. After this stream, it's going to get violent in here. Dennis deserves a whipping. So, oh, okay. guys, if uh, oh, a, that. a little late. I'll stay and watch. Oh, yeah, you can. You two throw down. I'll need a witness saying that he attacked me first, and then when I do my jujitsu and throw him out the window. Oh, Jesus. What? <sighs> yep. I, I, I'll, I'll even put my camera up and film it. You should. <laughs> so what are the does, – does he have plans for after graduation and stuff? Or? We're talking about colleges and stuff. Yeah. He's deciding what he wants to do. He's getting big into voice acting. Oh, really? Yeah. Has he done some, I guess, then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. He's got like five five gigs. Dude, that's really cool. Yeah, he's excited. He's doing great at it. He's very, very driven. Works a lot at it. Nice. Uh, Smokey Ooh. says 50 on Dennis for the KO. Oh, it's supposed to be 50 confirmed for the XO. You spelled a few things wrong there, uh, Smokey. <laughs> Uh, 25. So, That's so what it was, right? the average for the United States overall is five foot nine. The average for non Hispanic whites is five foot ten. I'm above five foot ten. Above, average. are you? Yeah, you so. may have been when you were younger. I, I yeah, I'm not old enough to shrink yet. I think uh, you are. I Oh, Joe, sent 65 to your PayPal to try and offset the PayPal fee. Oh, thank you. Could you let me know if you received it? Yeah, I will check right now. Thank you. Uh, one second. Do, do, do. And um, yes. Omar Glitch says, Andy is funny looking. Yes, I got it. So thank you very much. So I will mail it out tomorrow, Joe. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, it's right here. So I can send that out tomorrow. Um, okay, what are we down to? Five. We are five. at five. This is the last one. Uh, Rick Stanky, Stanky says, uh, Bart, when you signed those wizard covers, uh, it was Whitman, not Willingham, but close enough. Was yeah. anyone actually fooled? When I saw those, I knew it was you right off. Yes, many people were fooled. It wasn't the intent to fool, but... Many people were. Oh, look at this. He says worldwide average is five foot seven point five. Yeah, that's worldwide average. We're 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 not talking. Are, are you Asian? What's it matter? It matters. No, it matters immensely. Oh that's why you look up the average height by country. Why what are you country so are racist you from? that you don't want to count all the men in the world in the average? What do you have against other races? Because because you are not all the men in the world. You are this Only Mr. Clean. Wish. Mr. Clean looking guy. Uh-huh. I hear you. I hear you. What do we have? Five. Type in a four, would you? Click it through a little quicker. We got to get some more. We got to get one more piece up for Bart. Bart, you got another Three. piece? Yep. Okay. One more Batman. That's it. That'll be the last one. Two. It, wait, not yet. Well, you can do it. Just don't hit enter. Uh, anything over 5'7 is a waste. Just saying. I know, Rich. You're one of the short guys. <laughs> Poor Rich. Poor I, Rich. You, you didn't need to out yourself. I know. I, Rich, I always thought you were 5'8. So I, 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 I wish you had just said that because now, now you look a little lesser to Andy. Isn't he the same height as Andy, though? What? That's what I thought, too. That's what I thought. I thought when they stood next to each other, they were like eye to eye. So I don't know, this 5'10 stuff. Hey, 5'10 and three quarters. Yeah, once you start going to three quarters, now you sound like you're from Hollywood. So, yeah, I don't believe any of that. Whatever. <laughs> Stephen De La Vega says, Bart freaking Sears, the only guy to make Metamorpho look cool. Thanks, Stephen. There you go. All right, hit it. This is All it. right, this is it. Sold for 25 bucks. Etso's out the door. Type it in my PayPal. 
There we go. Boom. And Tom, they say Tom Cruise is five foot ten. Oh yeah, you're the same height as Tom Cruise. Yeah, Tom Cruise isn't five foot ten. Uh, oh, but you are. I get it. Hey pal, uh, add ten bucks to that for shipping, and I'll pop it out tomorrow. Thank you very much. And oh, put the note saying it's for the EXO. All right, guys, this well, will be the, this will be the last one for the, for the show. That's right. Lovely, Will. That was awesome. And you worked on that book too. I did. I did, and you know what? I, man, issues issue one, especially the one with the white cover where it's just him standing there. Yeah. That's gone up in value pretty good. Yeah. I've seen it quite high. Yeah. I don't know. Of course, I have only one or two of them, and I never really kept them in great shape. But I'm trying now. So. Uh, 35 confirmed for what? We haven't put anything up yet. Yeah, got to wait. Uh, if you're talking about the EXO, unfortunately, it's sold. It's sold. So uh, uh, I can't remember who bought it. But uh, I put my PayPal up. So shoot it out there for uh, 35 to me in PayPal, 10 for shipping. Uh, Amos Ninja, how does Bart feel about Baker Mayfield as the Bucks quarterback? Loves it. I'm I'm hopeful. No. Oh. Let's just say hopeful. <laughs> wow. You sound very much like a Cowboys fan. What? Wait till I, next year. I kind of feel like one lately. <laughs> you had your run with Brady. Yeah. You're good about yourself is what I'm hearing. Uh, let's see. Oh, Bart, you, do you, I don't know if you've ever met him. I think you have. You know who Randy Green is, right? That artist? Yeah. Have you met him or no? I may have years ago at one of the shows, but I don't really recall. It was hilarious. We were at uh, South Carolina Comic Con and we were out to dinner, and uh, it was like seven or it was like eight of us, so four on each side. And Randy was sitting right across from me, so we were just talking, and we were talking about uh, football last year. And he said, "Oh man," he goes, "My buddies came over, and they're like." Uh, you know, to watch the opening game with the Jets. And uh, I can't remember who the Jets played, but, you know, it was Aaron Rodgers starting for the Jets. Oh, yes. and, and Randy goes, God's honest truth. Before the game started, I said, I think it would be hilarious if Aaron went down with that injury in the first drive and took him out for the season. Oh, man. And then it happened. Yeah. Well, let's hope the Jets do a little better this year. I hope so. I hope so. Look at we're gonna see Joe's going there too. That's nice. right. All right, hold up your last piece. That's it. Let's see what this let's is. Let's do it. Oh, it's a Batman screaming headshot. Hold on. He's gonna screen cap it. I'll make you big. He's pissed. Well, you know what he's yelling? It's from uh it's from Batman versus Superman. He's saying Martha. And Superman goes, he goes, did you say Martha? Where'd you get that name? Where'd you get that name? Bart, do you remember that in that movie? Uh, yes, I do. It was your favorite scene, wasn't it? Oh, of course. Did you hate that movie? Martha, I'm in. 50 confirmed. Thank you, Smokey. Did you, uh, did you hate that movie? No, I enjoyed it. Nice. Yeah, it's hard, you know, everybody I mean, knows. Every time I watch it, I like it just a little more. I can't say I love it, but they're enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, I didn't I didn't hate it. Now, um, Madam Webb, that is a piece of trash. Man, I got credit in that one. Oh, shit, Chris is here. Did. Um, Chris, we didn't know you were still here. Uh, all right, we'll do Conan after this. And, and Chris, because obviously uh, we know you and stuff, if you want to, because we know you're at work, if you want to text Dennis a proxy bid, you can do that because obviously we know you're good for it and stuff if you can't be here. But yeah, we'll do the Conan next. Uh, Dennis said you were at work and probably not watching anymore. In between patients is the only time he has time to watch. 
give them something to knock them out for an hour. And then when they're done, just say, that was a great session. Thanks for coming. See you next month. Wow. What? That's what my shrink did to me. Yep. Shows. Yeah, that worked. I, I know, did. Right? Shows. Got the thing screen capped yet? My yeah. God. It's coming up. Ah. She's killing us here. What was the last superhero movie you saw then, Bart? Um, uh, Into the Spider Verse. Oh yeah, second, uh, I liked Spider -Verse it. movie that was awesome. What an incredible movie! All right, you can put your arm down. There it is. Fifty confirmed. Fifty, fifty, fifty confirmed. Matt Bar in the house. Uh, Brian says, seen some nice pieces. Well, feel free to bid. After this, there's a Conan. And then that's it. Then that's it. It'll be all she wrote. Uh, let's see. Sears, wow, you know it. You know it. Yeah, Spider Verse was good. What, the, what was the one before freaking. Madam Webb that we saw. There's been more than that this year. Well, we're seeing this week. I forgot the name of it because it's long. Hold on. Do you remember the name of it? Oh, I'll tell you in a second by the time you get it. Did you guys like Rebel Moon? I have not watched no. it. Did you? I couldn't watch it. I was disappointed. Wait, so oh, you started slow, watching slow, it every, and turned it off? Every... In 30 seconds, there was a slow mo scene. I, it was ridiculous. I don't know. I yeah. Didn't, I, I didn't even this, if this, if this was his version of Star Wars, and I was like, oh, I even, I even, uh, I thought it was going to be much better. So I even, uh, through previews, I even did the comic books for it. Oh, yeah. I know two, the second part comes out. It's out. Oh, it already hit? I was yeah, going to say it's this month. It dropped yeah, last weekend. Came out. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to watch it. It was hard. Yeah. The, the one we're seeing is the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Yeah, yeah that's fun. Guy Ritchie. Dude, yeah. Guy Ritchie, um, Henry Cavill, Alan Ritson. I, it looks really fun. It looks fun. It looks like a good one. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Um, Damn it. I'm blanking on what we saw last week. Uh, let's see. We saw Civil War. Oh, Civil War we saw last week. That was great. Yeah. Then we saw good. Late Night with the Devil. That any good? That's good. It was really good. It's real good. So when that comes out, I don't know if that's going to come out exclusively on Shudder because it's a Shudder produced movie. But I think it is on one of the streamings already. Well, that's Shudder. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know if because Shutter is a, their own streaming service, and it's all horror stuff. But I don't know if it's exclusive. Well, if you can watch it, it's a must-watch. Yeah, it's good. And then before that was Godzilla X Kong. Did you see that? No, I haven't seen that yet. It was, it's it was fun. fun. You saw Godzilla minus one, right? No, I haven't seen that. I want to see oh, that. Oh, dude. You've got to see Godzilla that, minus one. That is the one, and it, it's not even available to buy right now, and it won't come out. So you got to wait now for a while. It was not only the best Godzilla movie ever; it was just a phenomenal movie all the way around. That's cool. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. I heard good things, so I've been looking forward to it. But well, I mean, this wait. you know, one. I don't know if you know the budget. The budget was only 15 million bucks. Yeah. And the yeah. effects are phenomenal. The 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 actors were all great, but it was so, I guess you could say, refreshing seeing a monster movie. But it was really character driven. You know, the story was just great. Godzilla Kong is just a popcorn flick. You know. Yeah. You, you go into it, it's eye candy. You're like, oh yeah, do that. Oh yeah, do that. Oh, I thought it was last Friday. Okay, it's this Friday. Um, yep. Oh, yeah. Kel Razor says it comes out exclusively on Shutter Friday. Cool. So there you go, Bart. You could get Shutter for a seven-day trial, watch it, and then go, I didn't like the trial. 
and there you go. <laughs> yep. Before that, it was Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. And that was that solid. Good? Yeah, it was solid. Yeah. Yep. Did you see the one before it? Yeah. Did you like it? It was all right. And, uh, with that reaction, if you liked the, that one, if you thought it was all right, you probably think this one was all right. Yeah. It's, it's in the same game. Yeah. And then it was Dune Part 2, which we already talked about. And then before that was Ordinary Angels. Really solid movie. Oh, yeah. Ordinary Angels was great. Huh. Yep. I haven't even heard of that one. It's um, Alan Ritson. Alan Ritson. And it's a true story. Yeah. It's... Uh, his wife passes away, so he's raising his two daughters. The younger daughter, who I believe is at this point eight or nine, uh, needs a liver transplant. Yep. Yep, needs a liver transplant. Like I said, it's based on a true story, so at the end of the movie, they show real footage and stuff. Um, it's just, it, it was just a great movie, really, really heartwarming. Um, damn it. I'm trying to remember the actress's name. You remember the actress's name? actresses name the the girl or or no, 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 hillary no. swank hillary swank was in it oh okay oh man she was fantastic she was just great hmm. so it's one of those tear jerkers i told dennis i said my god man ball up it's a good movie but jesus we all know the girl doesn't die it's not like you're going to watch the titanic you watch that you laugh at that yeah, bastard. it's because I still kicked you off the piece of plywood and you sank and I floated. I like it. Mm -hmm. Land of Bad, that was before that. That was a good one. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. That was surprisingly good. It was one of the, the Hemsworth brothers, and we had very low expectations, and that turned out to be, you know, a good uh, special ops team kind of movie. Then it was Madam Web. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. oh. we took a bullet for that one. So you haven't seen, you probably haven't even heard of Land of Bad, have you? No, I haven't heard of that one. Oh, it's a good one. It's it's kind of like uh, Behind Enemy Lines, the Owen Wilson movie. Yeah. But oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so much better. Um, yeah, that one is really good. That's a definite, definite watch. Chris says, hey, guys, just picked up a Jack Kirby action figure. Which one? No, I don't even know what you're talking about. Jack Kirby. Yeah, and they put out a couple kind of in that style, I think. Chris, you need to be a little more detailed than that, my friend. Stop no, being so vague. He did. He, uh, he was very specific. He picked really? up a Jack Kirby action figure. That tells me nothing. What more, what more do you want? It's an action, an figure, action figure of, of Jack, Jack Kirby. Kirby. Oh, well, I hope it came with the cigar. Yeah. And, and then Argyle. We had seen Argyle. That looks fun. Is that any good? Uh, <laughs> of, uh, the trailer looks great. Yeah, the trailer was awesome. Way better than the movie. Yeah. Uh, NECA, he says. Oh, NECA. Okay. Yeah, that movie, You, you we've all seen movies like this where you're like, oh, this is where it's going to end. And then the director, writer's like, gotcha. And it goes on more. And you're like, oh, this is where it's going to end. Psych! And it goes on more. And you're just like, oh, god damn. And each one would have been a fine ending point. Huh. But they're like, no, no. Not yet. So. Yeah. I mean, if, if, it, if you see it on streaming and you're working and stuff, I don't think it's one. It's got Q parts. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, ISS, that was the one before that. That was, oh, that was be good, too. The, the beginning was great when they're in space and you actually get to see the earth getting nuked down below them and they start seeing what's happening and then all this tension build up. It was, um, it really had some really cool moments up there. I, I think it, it wasn't great in terms of, I think they dropped a ball on a few of them, but it was solid. And then the beekeeper, beekeeper was awesome. Beekeeper was good, yeah. And yeah. in fact, so did you see that or no? No, I haven't seen that, but it looked like it'd be good. 
So Chuck Dixon just posted on Facebook. They just started principal photography on Levon Le- uh, Le- Cade, his character. Oh, really? Jason, Jason Statham's playing the character. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. And uh, I think it's Stallone's production company's doing it. Huh. And uh, yeah, they just, he, he took a photo because uh, I assume it was him that took the photo on set. And uh, yeah, I can't wait because I've read, I think he's got like 10 novels out now. Really? And um, I've read the first four. And this one's based on the first book, so. Oh, that's really cool. Good for him. It should be cool. It yep. should be cool. All right, guys. All right, we're at two. One. This is it. A few more seconds. Anybody going it, once? Six confirmed would take it. Ten bucks more takes it, or it's going to Smoky Cockcats. It's fifty. Smokey's gonna gonna have a really oh, nice package today. today. Smokey's gonna get a big package from Bart. Only a few ladies can say that, and now Smokey and then you'll can. Get, you'll get to bring it to uh, Heroes Con, and you'll get to show all of us in person. That's right. And I'll accidentally slide them into my portfolio. Going once, going twice. And so there it is. The Smoky Con Cat for 50 nice. You've got his PayPal. So now I forgot the total, but uh, whatever it is, it's still just 12 bucks for shipping because three pieces of paper don't weigh much. No, All right, Chris. Don't. Well, we now put cardboard and stuff in there, so it's that's firm right. Firm and uh, hold that Conan up so Chris can see it. God, there. I hope he's still watching. As Conan has a minimum, what's that? Conan has a minimum bid starting um, bid 75. 75 minimum for Conan. You heard it. We're doing a screenshot. Oh, let me let me make it big until we do the screenshot. There we go. There we go. Uh, Smokey, you got the total right for all three. I take it. Yep, that's what it is. Oh, two twelve. And, and, and is that on a piece of paper, Bart, or is that one of the books? Oh, flip through the book. This is on. Oh yeah, see guys, there's. Yeah. Oh boy. That is an awesome book. Yeah, Chris, this book is really cool. How many pages is it? Uh, Roughly. 50, I don't remember. 100, it's like 150, 150 headshots in there. Yeah, it's more than that. It's a nice book. It's all full of headshots. Nice original Conan on the cover. It's Conan from inside. And Conan on the inside, too. So 75 bucks minimum bid. Let's do this. Yeah, that's a great book. Oh, look at this. We have a guest joining us. It's Dan Lawless. Oh, now, Dan. Hey, Dan. Hey, Dan. Somebody said Conan. Okay. <laughs> so, Chris, I know we're being a stickler, but technically you're supposed to write 75 confirmed, and that means that you actually want it. 75 is awesome. Tells us that you think that's a great price. So, Bart, can you raise it head up? It's a little higher, so it's on your body. (laughs) See, (laughs) perfect. (laughs) That's awesome, Dan. That whole book is awesome. It's over. It's it's over a hundred pages. It's all head sketches. Yeah, Bart, Bart, your your Conan stuff is just fantastic. Oh, thanks, man. Dude, you should see the pages. How many pages did you draw for that Conan story before? Oh, 75 confirmed. There he confirmed. is. Hi, Chris ain't going to let this go. How many pages did you draw for that Conan story before it got pulled, yanked? I don't know. I think it was eight. Something like eight. Yeah, I was going to say eight or nine. Dan. When, when was that? Uh, it was before, I think it was before Marvel lost Conan, right? Or before they canceled Savage Sword or whatever. I can't it remember. wasn't a long time ago. Yeah, but was it after Cross Gen or before? No, before. So okay, before. so it was in the late nineties. Yeah, mid to Mar- late nineties. Marvel's no longer the right place for Conan. I don't think. Oh, that's pretty blurry. I'm glad I he's gone. They, 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 they took him from. Bart, it's up to you if you want to hold that up or not, because that that screenshot's kind of blurry. That's as good as it's going to get. Joe Lowe says. You can try. You know, Chris has MD behind his name. It's kind of like Joe Biden. So, you know, go ahead. 
Joe Biden or Jill Biden? Jill Biden. She has MD as well. Doesn't she? She has PhD. I don't know what she has. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, like about oh, your, right. your your Conan's. Yeah, Joe, what you Bar- What's Bar- that? Conan's are are savage. I like it. I like I like a barbarian that looks like gritty and yeah, tough yeah, and gritty, badass. You know, just sometimes they draw them and it just like it, it. It just looks too girly or too pretty boy. He's not pretty boy. He's tough as heck. You know. Yeah, he's got to yeah. be. He's got to be brutal, and he's not a handsome dude. So Dan, you could bid on that and then color it all yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose I could. It's what? good to be tempted, Smoke. Did really do that? Oh, I now, now, Chris, here's the thing. If somebody can still outbid you because it's an auction, so if that were to happen, <laughs> you'd either have to bid again <laughs> or... So, because we'll keep it up for a little bit more because it is an auction, Chris. Uh, Bart, I don't know. I, well, I shouldn't even say, I don't know. I, I know you can tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say, you have not seen any of the new Conan that Titan publishing is putting out. Uh, you would be correct. I knew it. I, so I got some of it and it's, it, it's pretty good. I thought I, I liked it. So it's nice. It's, um, the next level is, I don't know. What, what do you want, Bart? 10 bucks, 15 for the next bid level. What? Yeah, whatever. It's an auction. So. It's an auction. We'll go by ten, ten dollar increments. I really, the guy I really that like. Draws uh, it, I really dude, like the guy that draws the Conan. It's it's got to be the best John Buscema I've seen. Yeah, Rob De La Torre. Oh really? Oh yeah. And and not like a bad. I mean, it is. It's it's one of just the as good as John. Well, he's really he's copying John, obviously, but but he's doing it. If you're, I always say, if you're gonna copy, copy well, and he's doing a really good job of it. Yeah, it's it's really nice stuff, and the story's not bad either. So, yeah, Rob De La Torre, he's yeah. uh, he's uh, I think he's a uh, you know Spanish artist, but it's yeah. it's every bit as good as John's. Uh, it it's got its own twist to it. Uh, it's just really really cool. I mean, you feel like you're you're being taken back to a John Buscema Conan book. Wow. With a, but a li- actually a little more, I would say in some ways he's a little bit more finished, and it's a little bit better in some ways. So in yeah, some ways, it's a little ways, bit. It, it's a little ways, bit it's not. John's, uh, but dude, Dan, I don't know if you know this. His art did not look like that when he first started at all. Hmm. It didn't look like that, honestly, until like, in my opinion, from his following his career, it's like, oh, I got Conan. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing is, I'm not sure if he's digital or not, but he may be just kind of, you know, doing a little bit of tracing here and there. No, I don't think he is digital. Yeah, doing a little bit of that for, for Bacillum. Because he, he's shown some of his, All right, so see, we got 90 confirmed. Um, No, he, he's not digital. He uh, He's posted uh, process type stuff. At least the process stuff I saw wasn't. Okay. Maybe he does both. I don't know. But it doesn't look like it. So yeah, I mean, I can see it. these are originals I'm looking at, but uh, I mean, digital in the sense that you can, you know, you can print out this stuff on, <laughs> use it as underlays and stuff like that. So. Yeah. All right, digital, so we got ninety confirmed. Looking for a hundred. Looking for a hundred confirmed. That's what we're looking for. Hundred confirmed. There we go. All right. Thank you, Christopher. He's a great guy. You know why? Because that's my middle name. And when you've got that as a name or a middle name, you rock. Mm. Oh, boy. Listen, Melissa. Oh, I outed your middle name. I'm sorry. Hey, I didn't write letter. So once again, just a bunch of hot air. Bart, ex- excluding yourself, who's your favorite Conan artist? <laughs> Excluding uh, yourself. Well, yeah, you I, say, I am my favorite Conan artist. <laughs> it's uh, it's tough. The uh, Yusema's um, um, which queen one? What was the name of the story? Um, queen of the Black Coast. Sword. 
uh, was awesome, but so was uh, Barry Smith's um, Red Nails. That's probably yeah. my favorite Conan story, and Barry nailed it in that one. So I probably got to go with Barry. Mm, okay. Really? I like, I, I admit, I do like, um, I like Barry's stuff, obviously, on the Red Nails as well, because that's when he really clicked with his inking style. Yeah. I mean, hell, if those first 20 issues of Conan looked like that, holy crap, that would have been, yeah. that, that run would have been just amazing. But I don't know. I'm, it's tough. You know, yeah, I, the tough I thing is that you like the tough thing is you like down. certain you like certain things of certain artists. All right, we got to pop back up. You can put your arm down. Let's see. Like for dynamics, figure dynamics, I think Bissema was really amazing. Oh, yeah. But for you know, for nice finishes, you know, of course, the very wind, very does beautiful finishes. Yep. Did you ever see? And it was only one page. I don't even know if it was the whole page. It was at least eighty percent of it. It was a Barry Smith page that was like a tryout for Conan. So we know what his art looked like at that time period. But Neil Adams inked it. Ah, there you go. Neil Adams yeah, is actually, that, that he's another time, great though. Conan artist. Actually, his Tarzan, his Conan stuff, that's great yeah. stuff. I mean, that, he's, a, he's, a, he's right up there, you know, with my favorites for sure. His Tarzan covers were awesome for the yes. paperback run he oh. did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so damn cool, man. The one thing that stinks about that issue of Conan that he drew, because he only he inked a couple over John and then the studio did, but he only drew one issue of Conan. And the thing that sucked about it is there were I guess the story was just so condensed because there were just so many small panels. It was so unlike what Neil usually does. You know the one I'm talking about? Not sure no. Uh, five dollar super chat from Travis. Thank you, Bart. When is drawing powerful heroes volume three coming out? Travis just joined the show. We're, we're working on it, Travis. Uh, working on editing. And then, uh, when I get the Kickstarter up, you'll have to uh, see it on my social media. But we don't have a date yet. Uh, what was that? No, oh, hey. Uh, cool. Yeah. So stay tuned, follow Bart on Facebook, Instagram, and, uh, and you'll know, uh, also you've got your fan page too, I believe on uh Facebook. Yeah. Bart Sears art. Yep. So go there, check that out. Um, I'm trying to think you don't have, a uh, on your website, do you have like a sign up thing or anything? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. So go to his website as well and you can sign up there. Uh, for notifications, do you have a, a uh, do you have a uh, an estimate on how many weeks, months, whatever before it might launch, or no? Uh, I, I think before the end of the year. Okay, cool. cool. I'm not gonna launch it until it's all done and ready to go. Right. No, that's cool. So just stay tuned for it. Um, is it too early to ask? Same format, same page count, or you yeah, don't know? Same format, but probably soft cover. So same page count then, roughly? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's soft cover. I kind of figured that. I think soft covers for those type of books are better, honestly. Yeah. You can lay them flat, open them up, you know. Hey, Bart, did you say you're doing a creator own book? Uh... Yeah. Not, own character? No, not right at the moment. Oh. I'm uh, working on a, a new drawing power or a new uh, drawing powerful heroes book, but uh, in a you know working on create your own stuff, but not anything ready yet for launch or talk okay. about. I'm curious. Is it is it going to be fantasy? Is it going to be superheroes? That kind of uh, it'll term? be more fantasy. It won't be superhero. Okay, interesting. Uh, all right i will be right back so dennis is going to handle the show real quick because there's actually a contractor dude here i got Helen just texted me so uh now i know i'm not going to be here our lovely viewership 
please don't drop off when I leave because I'm handing the reins over to Dennis. He's been in training for how long we've been doing this show now? Two and a half, three years. I think he can handle it. I don't know. Dan, if you have to, pick up the reins. I, I have faith. Okay. okay. So we can go to make it Yeah, I know. So, Chris, if you're watching, yes, well, don't worry. If you win it, we will get it all figured out uh, behind the scenes. Uh, Andy does have a, a PayPal, so we'll be able to figure it out. Don't worry. So, Bart, now Andy's gone. Give <laughs> us the dirt. We want stories of Andy that are humiliating <laughs> and <laughs> completely. This is why we love everything. Dan. <laughs> Uh, but it might be too bad. I, I, I mean, actually, probably every every day is a story with Andy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Um, I don't know if I do that on his own show, though. I mean, that's kind of rude. Well, you did. You you sort of mentored him, right? Is that my understanding? Or yeah, yeah, he was in third year when I was teaching second year at the Huber School, but he just came to my class every day. Oh, and, okay. Uh, or my classes. And hung out. I mean, he didn't do any of the work, but he would bring his stuff he was working on, and uh, we would talk about it. And you know, became friends, and uh, you know, did a lot of chatting and, and about comics and drawing after you know after uh, school hours, and you know, then on into you know after he graduated. Mm, yeah. Hey, what's your what's your? I'm curious. What's your sort of uh, assessment of the industry? Yet? It, it, it overall is the outlook good is the outlook bad is it is it gonna do you think it's gonna be stable i think what? i think the industry itself is probably fine i'm not certain how creators are doing in it you know it's certainly different and i haven't really worked in marvel or dc realms for almost 20 years so you know other than an odd thing here and there but it's definitely a very different world than the one you know i started out in and yeah, stayed yeah. pretty consistent for I guess the first 15 or 20 years I was in the industry, but it, it just seems very different now. I mean, I don't even oh, know yeah. how you get a job at Marvel or DC anymore. No idea. Yeah, I, I was in from 87 to 97, you know, mostly Marvel, then uh, and then Dark Horse. Yeah. And uh, yeah, totally different. You know, working with editors like, like Archie Goodwin is the guy who, who I <laughs> discovered me, you know, at, yeah. at the by the way, at the Motor City Comic Con. So. <laughs> That's awesome, and he's yeah. Of course, I, if you I you know him, I mean, he he was a nice guy. Yeah. I thought he was just yeah. a sweet person, great guy, awesome editor. And yeah. but also, he was so interested in art. You could just see that he, you know, he with Epic Illustrated and all that. He was trying to bring in Mobius and all these characters, all these cr people from European European, uh, you know, comic yeah. creators, and and he loved it. You could see it in his in his uh, in that. So he, those guys were what really I was. They, you know, they were really fueling the whole industry. They were pushing it towards art and when i got in in 87 i mean dark knight had just come out watchmen a lot you know dave stevens uh rocketeer all yeah. that stuff was happening i'm just i was so excited and then it just kind of fell it apart it was a great time it was yeah. a great time and it was great that editors were writers and artists that you know came up through the ranks and kind of earned that editor job through yeah. their you know work and experience and you know it just you know it hasn't been that way in a long time yeah my first actual uh, editor was Kyle Potts, and, and same oh, with Carl. Okay. He was really, you know, he was really about, all about storytelling. I think Jim Shooter was pushing storytelling really, you know, hard. Yeah. And, gosh, I don't think they teach it today. <laughs> just, just to teach, you know, the storytelling, the, the flow from panel to panel, like Will Eisner or something like that. Just they don't, you know, you, you tell somebody, well, do you know who Will Eisner is, and they don't even know, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like you, you read Will's book, right? Which uh, one? Like, like storytelling. I can't think of the name of it. I no, I didn't. Not I mean, not a story, but I, but I, but I, you know, I loved his work, and uh, I really, what really hit me was right about that time before I got in. Harlan Ellison did this video called "Masters of Comic Book Art," and it had his interviews oh. of Will and and Jack Kirby and Frank Miller and uh, wow. just a whole bunch of them, Neil Adams, and man, I, just those little tidbits of of interview information just inspired me, and I was just so excited to, to get into comics for that. Now. I think that's gone. It appears to be gone, which is really sad. So. so, but the thing is, it's it's in a way, it's kind of good because, I mean, our competition, Marvel and DC, is just shooting themselves in the foot. 
it's it, it just it's, which is kind of weird but kind of cool like because i think it's the first time independents are really you know yeah have an opportunity now nope. there's the man yeah I'm oh back. my god i can't believe Andy did that that didn't say lost. a word the whole time you were gone <laughs> we only lost 75 viewers wow that's wow. not saying much for you dan then <laughs> Are you serious? You're supposed to carry the ball. You are like a Packer. You dropped the ball when I hand it off to you. What do you mean? We actually gain viewers. You know, you just talk shit so much, nothing's accurate. I don't think that's true. Uh, let's see. Smokey says, Dennis Bart, please post PayPal info. Oh, okay. I got it. Heads, I'm reading this backwards. Heads will roll, it says. Is that it? That's the name of the book. Yeah, yeah. it's the book. It, it's just backwards, like, like I'm saying, the, the feet of it. Or the yeah. Image. Oh, yeah. It's backwards weird. You guys, there's something called Photoshop, and you can, as a computer, so you can flip the image. <laughs> well, we did a, I mean, this is just a screen capture, so he didn't have to hold his arm up. Yeah, we just did a quick screen grab. That's all. Oh, yeah, it does read right there. My camera's not flipped or whatever when it's supposed to be mirrored. <laughs> That's okay. okay. What we should have most, said was... Most of us can read it, Dan. Well, no, what we should have said was, Dan, I don't know what you're talking about. It's not backwards to us, is it, guys? And wow. then all three of us go, no. So this... Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Blue Boy says? says, there is a lot of bad digital artists, too. Quite a few used to be great traditional and switched digital for speed and uh, vience. And it shows the work became bad. I do enjoy Dan's digital. Yeah. Well, I Dan. color digital, but I don't draw digital. Right. I actually, I you know what? I found out that digital takes longer. It's weird, but for me, when, when you <laughs> work on a, when you start zooming in on something, all of a sudden you're working on. A, I'll, I'll be working on a head like you know about a half inch high. Yeah. And, you know, you can see it in high resolution. Then you pull back. Oh my gosh! I worked a half an hour on this stupid little head. It's you got to yeah. be really careful with. With the digital, because yeah, you can, it can take so much. Is, is yeah. crazy. You can't blow up the image larger than its life size, or you're screwed. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The first but time I, I did, I found uh, that actually drawing on paper is not only is it faster for me, but yeah. it's more enjoyable. Just a tactile experience. I don't know. I, I can draw. Oh, either Dan, one, that, but, that reminds me, Dan, real quick. So I actually did sell the Captain America. Yeah. Did you? Do you have the pencil still? No, no, that was the, a donation thing. Oh, that's right. I forgot. That's right. Okay, so two people. That's right. I totally forgot. That was for Graham's thing. Yep, yep. Okay, cool. Never mind. I totally forgot about that. Yep. So, yeah, we're doing the countdown. 100 confirmed. Do oh, we no, have 110? Off. Do we? Do we? Decimal system. All right. Dan, I can't remember. Who's your football team? You like football, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm Detroit, so Detroit Lions. Oh, that's right. Which they did pretty good for the first time in a long time this past year. There you go, Dan. You can read the title now. Yeah, because Dan, you're you're going to Dan's doing Motor City. Let me see that. You're both going to be at Motor City. How, yeah, I might stop in. Backwards. What are you talking about? Said he. He's messing with you. <laughs> Hold up a mirror and then put the picture in the mirror. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, actually, one that that's one thing I do. Actually, I do my layouts on digitally often though but that's because that's so cool to work it out because you can flip the you know how you, i mean we all use mirrors i think when we're working on our drawings but man to be able to flip an image and then work on it in digital and then flip it back and i work i get the anatomy you know just looking just right then i print it out and as you says underlay yeah so it's it's i, I still kind of i use the I, just another tool you know yeah six we're counting it down. Dun, 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 dun. What's the going price on this? Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Holy shit! 
God's sake. What? Thanks, guys. You come on. Why did dude. I post a link to his bio? What are you talking about? That is a steal, man. I did not. Christian, now, is this the uh, is this the cover? Uh, what is this actually? What is it? What are we looking at exactly? The it's the. Uh, um, this is the uh, heads will roll book. Here, hold on, I'll full screen you. Chris can see what he looks like. He's going to get. There you go. Flip through it. It's a book uh, of uh, over a hundred pages of heads. One hundred forty-two headshots. One hundred forty-two headshots. And, that's and a, this is the uh, cover. This is a sketch cover. So that's a drawing on a white sketch cover. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. And uh, what is it like six by nine? I think the book is. I can't remember. It's five by eight. Oh, five by eight. So it's five by eight, 142 head sketches on the inside, an original Conan sketch on the blank cover. Christian goes, I got two of those or I'd be on it. Look at that part. <laughs> Somebody's already got Thanks, two Christian. of them. Guys, this is it. Going once, going twice. Sold. Hunter confirmed to awesome. Christopher Lord. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very friend. much. Thank you, everybody, man. That's great. Fantastic. Fantastic. And we'll figure it out uh, to get you the payment and stuff and uh, and his address and whatnot. So cool. He's an MD? What's that? He's an MD? Christopher Lloyd, MD? Yep. He's actually a buddy of ours that lives in town. Mm. He's a good guy. So you just He's hand a, him, like, would you go in there and hand him a drawing at the, when you're checking out from your, get your health checkup and you? Instead of put, putting it, running your card through, you just like, yeah, don't I wish. Here's a drawing. <laughs> God, don't I wish. He's not He's not my doctor. He goes, you know, that'd be a conflict since we're such good pals. And I'm like, I know. Did you ever walk into oh, a bar oh, and go oh. uh, do some sketches like, uh, go, hey, drinks are on me. Just throw it's them It's weird out. because I did go to his office once and he gave me a prostate check. And then I was like, but wait a second, you're a psychiatrist. And he's like, oh. He goes, you're not treatable. It was like too late. Pants were already just, down. Just when he's giving you the prostate check, just make sure both hands are on his shoulder. Yeah, exactly. The funny and, thing is Andy carries, you know, rubber gloves with him when, whenever he goes anywhere. So if he meets a doctor, he goes, hey, I got him right here. And he's already bending over. Doctor? TSA, baby. I'm like, here you go. <laughs> Slap him on. You, you might want to do a... They don't even pull you into the side oh, room. Man, like, they just go right through the x-ray machine. Bend over, Andy. I'm like, come on, guys. Let's save some time. Slap hey, Andy, just, that cavity just, check right here. Andy, when, just make sure when he's giving you the prostate exam that both hands aren't on, on your shoulders. Right. Mark has posted. <laughs> you can check out all Bart stuff at bartsearsart.com. Yeah. Uh, question for you. Hey, Bart, did you see Asad Ribic's Conan run on interior art from one Conan legend to another? Thoughts? Your Conan is stellar, too. I did not. Oh, there you go. That was simple. I got some. Uh, I don't know what that guy's up to anymore. How old Actually. is that stuff? Say what? How old is that stuff? His Conan stuff? Yeah. Uh, it was right, I think, when Marvel first had the license. Dan, you probably know. How long did Marvel have the license for? Do you remember? I don't know. It wasn't it it was only at least, a few years. Was it? it was at least six or seven years. 1972. I mean, no, 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 no. They lost it. Well, it, it depends. Back. What are you talking about? Initially oh. or just recently? Well, that's no, what I thought recently. you meant. Oh, I thought you meant initially. No, no, no. Because Assad worked on it when it came back. Just recently. I don't think it was that many years, really. No, it was probably five at least, I think. I think they had it for five or six. Bare, barely. Oh, wait, here we go. He answered. They had it. They only had it for three or so. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and I tried to get a cover on that uh, during the, that period I know. of time. Couldn't Thanks, get, Will. Got nothing. Take it easy, Will. Tell the guys over at Graybeards uh, that uh, we love them all. Especially yeah. Dave, Williams. Dave Williams. Christian, yeah, no ominous update. Oh, Sorry, yeah. man, there's nothing in the works or immediate plans for anything ominous right now. Well, that seems rather ominous. Wow. Or precarious. Ooh. 
Somebody looked at their dictionary word of the day. I thought he had a calendar. Yes, my, mine does go beyond three letter words. Every word. morning, Dennis gets up and says, well, I don't want to say it because my digital thing will hear, hey, uh, Amazon digital assistant, what's today's word of the day? And then he hits me with it. Does it even, does it even have one of those? Okay, let's find it. Uh, Alexa, what's the word of the day? Today's SAT prep word of the day the is arrogance. That? It means when a person believes he what? or she is better than others. I don't know. He so talked through it. I he know. asked the question and talks through the answer. <laughs> this is what I deal with Are every day. Me? It's talking right now. But what was the word? Just... They even, nobody yeah. can use the word because you talked over it. The word of the day is. Blah, 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 blah. Mike is directional and it's in front of us. It's so got Mike's nothing to do with there. it. You literally talked over the word. <laughs> Alexa, shut up. Why does no, your Alexa have such a one. weird voice? Yeah. Yeah. I've never heard that voice. Alexa, what's the weather? In Charlotte, it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit. But apparently for the SAT word of the day. <laughs> Do the word of the day. Again. I did. It was arrogance. Oh, arrogance. But that it was just weird because it was that dude instead of that the female voice that it always is. Weird. You ever heard that at your house? I've never had that voice. Even that girl, oh, the guy voice. Yeah, no, I know. Maybe no it's, maybe it's a, a lineman out on the line, and he's and he's tapping in, and <laughs> <laughs> it's your he's up there on the he's up there on the pole. You know, you know? Of all the important things to tap and listen to, this probably shouldn't <laughs> rank very high on anybody's list. No, he's just working. Man. He's just a regular guy working on the lines. He just happened to know the the word of the day, and he was on the pole up there, and he said, "Hey, I know what it is," and told you. No shit. Psyops. <laughs> right? What's going on over here? We got shadow squads. Oh, shit. He's asking that. Um, I'll just use my voice and talk to him and he'll do it. You know, I actually did that to my sister-in-law the other day. <laughs> she called. I, I called her and she didn't respond for like two days. And I'm like, what the heck? You know, she did, had to answer a question. So she called. And then I was like, hello, you've reached the Turner's voicemail. We can't come to you and talk to you right now because you haven't answered any of my messages. And she started laughing. She goes, oh, my God, I actually thought you that was the message. I said, yeah, until I did it. So that's what's going on. Uh, got a question, Bart. Do you work digitally at all? Yep. Work both ways. Depends on the job. What's going to be, uh, you know how I approach it or what it's for. So digitally or on paper, either way. There you go. Very nice. Oh, oh, check that out. Marcus, I've done that for a living. So Marcus is the guy who climbs up on the pole and listens in for psyops. Yeah. Just admitted that's what he does for a living. That's why he knows so much. He does. Person says, Bart, I started using those Eon boards. Great quality. Oh, cool. You use those, oh, Bart? I have. And they're good? Yeah, they're not bad at all. Oh, I've never tried them. I just get the I get the 11 by 17 Strathmore yellow pad. You know? No. They're not pre-ruled, but... What's um, an Eon board? I never heard of it before. What's it? It's a company that does the pre-ruled... They're pre-ruled blue line, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, paper, you know, yep. for comics, 11 by 17. Okay. Yep. I mean, mostly I use Strathmore because, you know, most times I don't work 11 by 17 anyway, so. Right. Right. By the way, I saw on, uh, I, I did, I somebody on Twitter mentioned about uh, the, the the stuff for Ripaverse you did. Oh, yeah. And I was like, where'd that come from? And he posted a screenshot of, I guess there's a some type of uh preview type book or something you can add on when you check out. Oh, really? From Eric's late. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. So I was like, oh. Cool. I wonder how the color came out. Yeah, I know. That's why I was wondering. I'm like, oh, I guess it's, you know, it's possibly colored now. I don't know. Yeah, it was a 13-page story. So. Well, that's did, cool. Did Chuck write it or? No, Eric did. Oh. Okay. Cool. Yep. Very cool. 
about a pun. All right, guys. Well, we've been going for two hours. We're going to wrap it up with, of course, Forge Rat the Awakening, Andy Smith and Dennis Turner. That's right. Bring you the next exciting chapter volume in the core draft saga uh guys go check it out uh we launched it a couple days ago 30,134 bucks 389 backers 27 days to go uh i will be playing the video when we uh end as always we've got lots of cool stuff there's the main cover by myself and dandy dan lawless i hope you don't mind me saying dandy dan dandy dan, dandy dan. i'll go with it i'll accept it all right. <laughs> now remember, if you meet when you meet him in person, Dan, he's only five foot nine and three quarters apparently. So you know you've got a few inches on him. Who? Who are you talking about? From out of the blue. Oh, Art, Art Art that. <laughs> uh, we've got the homage cover, pencils, inks, and love that colors cover. by That's Moi. Great. Man, that's just that like one. classic Conan. You know, I just, oh, it looks so cool, man. It does. It's funny because, uh, you know, Ethan pointed out how John Malin was going to make fun of me because of the tangent with the word balloon in the building. And I was like, hey, man, talk to Barry Windsor Smith. All I did was homage the cover as close as possible. And that's how it was on the original. So yeah. got to give it that, that old feel as much as I can. I tell you, I, I love yeah, coloring it, in, you know, paint it in a painterly way like this here. But man, I still also love the, the, the traditional kind of flat comic book coloring. It just it has a charm to it. You know, it just, it does. just oh, yeah. it's a graphic, you know, it's it's a Yeah, when it's done well. Oh yeah. And then of course still we've got favorite. the flood root. What's that? The flat color is still my favorite. Yeah. Flat, yeah. flat color. Love it. Especially on newsprint where it's just oh yeah. Gloss. It's just that green newsprint. That's that's the that's the bomb. Well, that was the thing when we were going over our first work last night on the professionals, the screenshots I grabbed for mine, it was all white. There was none of that newsprint yellow or anything. It was just bright white behind everything. And it just didn't have the same same feel. And then here is the two covers. I always do the one. I keep forgetting. There it is. The two covers put together. Uh, Bud Root did a great Adriana for this campaign. And it pairs up nicely like a fine wine with state with the previous cover he did so uh if you don't have the previous one you can add it on when you check out and put them together and who knows maybe the next volumes might have more connection whoa what? whoa teasing teasing i know hey and we got the uh <laughs> i got anyways the photoshop knowledge how to put these two together seamlessly from the chat I know. <laughs> you know. This is where we have the best chat in the world. I forgot who. No, I'm darn. I forget who, who gave me that information. But I was like, Dan, just try this. Uh, I forget what it was that he had to do. But I was like, it works. It was great. So because I was having real trouble kind of trying to match up the exact same color and everything with, with, from frame to frame or from you know one to the other. Do you remember how to do it? Because I totally forgot. Is it a plug-in or is it just no, off like no, no. the edit screen? It's a content aware. That's what it was. Yeah, content aware. Oh, content aware. That's so it. What, just look up a, a YouTube video on content aware. It's really easy. And yeah. it, it, it's, it made a nice smooth transition. Then I could just kind of paint a little bit over that. And All right. uh, on that side. So I had a complete smooth, it's completely smooth transition. No variations at all. Bart, did you know about that in Photoshop or no? Yeah. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Addicted. yeah. Yeah. Well, we learned it one day on the chat, and Dan on screen live tried it and was like, holy shit, that works yeah. great. They were great. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got the black and white edition. It's the regular size graphic novel. The whole book is in black and white. Uh, not an artist edition. The files are not, you know, full color like an artist edition. It's the uh, it's a uh, black and white art adjusted for the colors where it's nice high contrast black and white, but it's the whole book in black and white. Uh, preview pages, of course, right here. Oh, yeah, there's the big bad guy, Vordoom. He's a tall fellow. Yeah, ooh, monsters, new monsters. Yeah, they are. And uh, kind of, oh, what? that was weird. And the thing I love about this is 
you've got this monster and he's eating a bear. And Dennis was like, can you please have the monster be colored yellowish green like a packer eating a bear? And I was like, no, Dennis, this is not about football. Jeez. <laughs> but look at him. He chews the bear up, blood all over his teeth. It's Wild, his healing man. power. And then, oh, what is this? Demise and Dracomort. Dennis, what is that all about? As I show, guys, look at this beautiful cover by our guests, Bart and Dan. Wow. You know, great. That looks awesome, Dan. Thanks, man. Yeah. You guys it's, make it's, it's, a, it's an honor. It's an honor to meet you, Bart, and it's an honor to be able to color something of yours. Oh, it's, it's, it's really great, really man. Fun. I'm lucky. I'm very lucky. That looks awesome. Yeah, it was yep. fun, man. Fun. And that is the cover of the second module in the uh, the series. So, Core Draft: The Awakening. So, uh, guys, this is a. It's going to be a great story. There's a. Uh, an old dragon that was defeated a couple of generations ago had spawn and uh, the, one of the spawn has come back to take its revenge for the killing of its mother. So this is going to be a two part uh, adventure. Um, uh, they've been test played on the first run already. Um, I'm doing some additions and changes and uh, it will be going out for beta testing and a, a group out in Vegas and a, a group up north. And then uh, that will be getting, hopefully, wrapping up in the very near future. But you guys have got a lot of feedback from the first one, uh, Mayhem in the Mirmidor Mountains. And uh, this is going to be another great one for all of your role players. There you go. And, of course, the parody ad is back. Always yes. do a parody ad. This is like my <laughs> fifth one, I think. So uh, What's this one feature? Is, this, is, it same, is it the beer again? Or? Oh, yeah, it's the beer. Uh, Had to do the beer again. Yeah, we decided the first two are going to be the same. You know, you know, because like before it was Hostess, and they got all these different products. So we figured got at least do two with the mead, and uh, I wanted to keep it with the uh, Looney Tunes theme, yeah, uh, like say, the like the first the, one. What's that thing called? Oh my gosh, can't remember. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember the name of that. It was so it's, weird, but it was cool. It's the hair monster, the one that gets uh, the barber yeah, the and the one that does it. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember it's the hair monster. Hey, I'm yeah. curious, you guys, why don't you know you I saw the the, the figures, uh the figurines in the add-on section, but why don't you just put it in the campaign there on the right here? I can tell you in a second once we get to them. Uh no, there's a reason behind it. Okay, so we've got the add-ons. You've got Core Draft the Awakening, the layouts. It's the whole book. Uh, I'm scanning in all my layouts before I start. Sweetums. What's that? Its name was Sweetums, I'm told. That's that's Muppets. Sweetums. That's, Sweetums. That's it. But that was the Muppets uh, uh, character, Sweetums. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So the whole book is layouts. Uh, scanning in my pencil layouts so you can see what they look like before I start slapping ink around. Uh, we've got the manga size digest in black and white. Uh, it, it has a nice uh, zip -a tone type pattern when you look at it, so it really has that manga feel. And it's rated E for everyone. We did a little editing on a couple of the pages to make it that way. We got the color digest version. Uh, it's a little bit larger than the manga one. It's also E for everyone. Did a little bit of editing, same editing. You know, pages are the same, just in full color, smaller. And then, like uh, Dan was talking, we've got these figures, which I can show this graphic of here. Uh, a two-inch size, a three-inch size, and a nice five-inch size. The two-inch is perfect for uh, standard role-playing. And now, Dan, to answer your question, we didn't do them as a separate tier because we just figured, you know, if somebody's backing this campaign, mm -hmm. I we just figured nobody's just going to come in and go, I'm just going to buy a figure and that's it. So it's an add on. That's why. Isn't that oh. the reason? Yeah, pretty much. That's I right. mean, you know, because if they're going to, they're going to buy the module in that or the comic in that, or most uh, if they're going to buy the module, they're probably going to get the book, the module, and they're just going to add them on. We kicked it around, but you know, it, it gets really long. The more you have to just scroll down on the side. So you okay. know, th yeah. this was just a uh, an easier setup. Yeah, yeah that's our thing. We keep wanted to simple. keep the amount of tiers more compact, so you don't have to scroll as much. 
Uh, we've got the collector's box, which we actually have right here in our little, little hands. Well, I, I'm holding it. So large hands, little hands next to me. Um, here we go. We've got on one side, the homage cover number two. On the other side, homage cover number one. One end, nice Adriana from the main cover, colored by Dan. Other end, the Cordrat part of the cover. Uh, put it on your bookshelf, and you've got it standing up. Nice spine, staunching comics. Nice shot of Cordrat up top. Laid it down. Open up the front of the box. Cordrat. All your books can fit nicely in this. You can get this as an add-on if you don't want to uh, get the few tiers that have it all. And while we're speaking of tiers... Hey, or, or you could put your favorite cereal bag inside the box and have Cordrath for breakfast. You Cordrath for breakfast cereal. Cordrath, there you go. Cordrath all right. Cookies. Next hey, book, yeah, that's it. Make, make, a, make a box for breakfast for cereal. Make a box with the core dress bre breakfast cereal box just to make the box and people can put their own cereal in it then. That's right. We'll make it look like a Wheaties box with core on the cover. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. The awesome. core dress crunchies. <laughs> Boy, that's a great idea, Dan. That is a great idea. Oh, Joe Bernardo just got here. Aloha, Joe. Yes, you missed the auctions. And yes, Daniel, you Joe missed the Daniel. auctions as well. And we've been going for over two hours, so it's, it's been going for a while. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, okay, tears. We've got Cordrath, the Awakening box bundle. This one features everything for the Awakening campaign. You get all the covers, A, B, C, D, the black and white edition of the book, the uh, game module volume two, the Adriana trading card, and, of course, the collector box. Uh, we've got the game module. We've got cover A, B, C, black and white, bud root cover D, black and white edition. All these are available as add-ons, too. We're like Burger King. You can have it your way. Get cover A on checkout. Pick another cover. We've got the volume one second print with the bud root variant cover as well. Uh, let's see. That is right there. There it is. Dan recognizes that. Well, I hope yeah. so. I know that coloring. Yeah, there's one I that colored it online on my on my YouTube show. That's right. We've got all right, let's remove that. We've got the catch-up tier, so you can get that cover and uh cover A of Core Draft the Awakening. Got the head sketch tier, grab a head sketch, seven by ten, character of your choice, and cover A. Figure sketch commission, uh, co uh cover A, character of your choice, and of course the big bad booty daddy. Six of these suckers have been claimed. Cordrath one and two get it all. Get everything. We ain't messing around. Five hundred and ten dollar uh, usual price. We're selling it for three ninety nine. You get everything from the Awakening tier and everything from Cordrath the Reckoning. All six covers from that. You get both game modules. Uh, you get the four character cards. Whoa, whoa, in the you map. Get what? You get huh? game game modules. Game, Dan. Game. Jeez. You know, it's bad enough having Andy on the stand. <laughs> Seriously. Get your head out of it. You guys are very inclusive, I see. Yeah. <laughs> the bar the bars, the bars that you attend at night in that little hometown you live in, I don't need to hear about them on our stream. I'm just oh. saying. Uh and you get the artist edition and, of course, both trading cards, the Adriana Lona trading cards. This is the bang for your buck right here. Uh, retail 510 on the campaign, 399 And retail, by the way, for the Awakening box is 162 and we're selling it for 135 So, guys, go check it out. We got to keep this campaign going and growing. We're going to add the stretch goals uh next week not all of them just a couple just the tease of the stretch goals so check that mm -hmm. out uh let's see any more comments just got my mail and nice and tight has a rock are you serious it's there he just shipped it out two hours and 30 minutes ago that's Seriously. amazing i just gave it to my mailman today 
But they the must Flash. have said, I know this address. Maybe the, maybe the Flash was the mailman. I know. Uh, Corn Draft is some of Andy's best work ever. Oh, Amish Ninja, thank you so much. Uh, Dennis, make sure he gets the $10 we promised him for that. <laughs> it's coming out of your account. That's fine. Oh, son of a bitch. I got to pay for promotion? Man. Well, guys. Uh, oh, wait. Wait, Let's you got a slam here. Joe just slammed somebody. Who's a Cowboy fan? When doesn't he? Me. Uh, damn. Okay. okay. Hey there, Bart. <laughs> Good to see ya. I'm hey, off Daniel. the gray beards. Peace out. Well, peace out to you, Daniel. So we'll do it again. They're, they're better than us. What the hell? I know. Bullshit. Uh, that type of model is exclusive to Cowboys fans. Oh, Joe. Who won that Super Bowl last year? Oh, right. Not the 49ers. Okay. With that being said, uh, next week on the show, we've got Mike Barron. We've got Kelsey Shannon. We're talking some Nexus. We uh, are. So it's join great. us next Wednesday, 3 p.m. for that hell of a show. This Friday, we're dropping a movie review. Title? Such a, <laughs> such a long title. It is, for the, it is the worst title ah, ever. Damn, it is what? such a long title, but it looks like such a great movie. Give me What's one second. I'm allowed to forget because I forget the name of characters like the minute I walk through the door leaving the movie. Yes, it, it's uh, I, I actually have to pull it up because it is so unwieldy. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. That's what we're seeing Thursday night. Tomorrow, we're dropping a review first thing Friday morning. So uh, like, subscribe, and share. What the... 20 bucks? That's blackmail. Get out of here. Wow. Um, so we will see you guys then. Thank you for joining us. Thanks to Bart and Dan for joining us as well. Of hey, course. thanks for having us. And nice, nice seeing you, Dan. Oh, nice, yes. Nice I'm nice seeing you other two idiots, but <laughs> fuck. Yeah, we know you mean it. <laughs> <laughs> so harsh. So harsh. Dan, I'll tell you later what he actually said about you. Uh, bye bye, everybody. Have a good night. Live long and prosper. Yeah. Thanks. So long. <laughs>